iHeart Radio app. Fox Sports 940 Miami. It's time for the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show, powered by Mercury Marine. To me, there's nothing better than to spend all of my time out on the water. With waterman Eric Brandon. Because that's where I get my kicks out on the water. And extreme angler Joe Hector. Hey, it's my residence. Call your resident fishing experts, Eric and Joe, at 866-801-0940 and get hooked up. You know what? Spending our weekend. Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. Don't want to waste my time or a single dime on something high and dry. Out on the water. Want to see the show live? Go to the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. It's the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. July 4th weekend, baby. Live, 1974. Yes. Living in the USA. Well, bottom line, no good jam. There's Stephen J. Gray. Good morning to you, Thank crazy you. Good man. morning. Good morning, gentlemen. Independence Day weekend. We made it already here. We did. Yeah. Uh, yeah, to my right, my amazing friend. You're all tanned up there and buffed out with those big guns showing. Nice. Joe. Hector, everybody. Hey, hey, hi, hey, hey how Joey. How you doing, buddy boy? Doing good. How about you? So I'm doing super. I had some pre-chats like you do normally during the week. We pre-prep yep. the show, obviously. Yeah. I've heard uh, mahi reports. I've heard kingfish. I've heard sailfish. I've heard you. You've heard what on your end? Yeah. I mean, I've heard mahi deep. Yeah. I've heard uh, spotty blackfin. But if you get some, they're big. Yeah. Uh, some kingfish. Okay. Uh, I also got approved for our park, for our kids' camp. Oh, nice, So man. we're ready to rock for Outstanding, August. Outstanding, man. That's so great, I'm excited about great, that. Great so close. we'll have some kids fishing as well. Super duper. And uh, yeah, I've heard, actually, I heard of one guy actually getting a Wahoo, which has been the first time in a while. Right. Uh, it was a Weehoo. Okay. But still, it's something. It's tasty. Yes. Good eats, man. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> So the bottom bites turning on. The mahi have gone deeper because I've, I talked to Nor Beckoff last night. He said the sargasm was just absolutely insane yeah, in Broward County. Ridiculous. I mean, they can't even use planers. It's just that bad. Yeah. You know, you know, know what's coming up though? What? Snook fishing on the beach, my friend. Remember last year? Oh, though you got some giant killed it monsters last killed year. Killed it last year. You and I got to go this year. Joe, I, we got to be show those photos. Those fish were not just average; they were just over slot. Yeah, they were for sure. Big. They yeah. Were big. So, we got a great show coming up on the program. We have a star bright bucket six forty five. Joe Hector has the honor of the trivia question this weekend. Ooh. Hope you got something in less than five minutes, Joe, because normally you're very long winded. I might add. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Your stories are Stephen J. Gray can run a timer and tell you it's about, Steve loves them. about a seven minute oh, uh, yeah, experience yeah. here, so that should be great. <laughs> Captain Deb Dale coming up. Uh, Danny Ramos is off today. Chris Lemieux at 6.30 today. Okay. Captain Deb Dale is promoting the hell of the show in the Keys. Nice. So every captain's just ready to rock, man. So let's bring on the first man with the plan every weekend, shall we? Oh, is it? It is the shield, dude. Jim! <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Jimmy boy. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> uh, I'm doing great, guys. Uh, that that <laughs> intro just gives me every every week. Uh, better, we sit up better. at night and just practice that thing, Joe and I on the phone longer. together. Man. It's longer, and yeah, better. I think. Yeah, yeah. guys better. lead very dull lives. <laughs> no, man. Let me tell you, anybody who gets something like you do is the first captain to report. Deserves all the gigantic it's noise true. we can make about your ass. Okay, that's very true. So oh, okay. uh, the Thomas Flyers is one fishing machine that's just badass. Heard this week you were not using it as much and uh, been in the keys for a while, huh? Well, I'm actually, I came down in the Keys yesterday. I'm down in Isla Mirada, and we're going to run over to Flamingo this morning okay. and see if we can catch some snook or redfish or whatever the heck wants to bite. Okay. We're, when it comes to Flamingo, I'm, I'm an amateur compared to most guys, but we still have a good time and <laughs> manage not to run aground. That's our biggest feat of the day. But, uh, yeah, I, on the off, offshore-wise, I have not been out in the last couple of days, but I've got some reports from a few of the guys that have. For some reason, the charter business this week has been slow for all of us, at least in the Miami area. Right. But um, there have been some dolphin caught. It's kind of like how it has been. They've not red hot by any means, but catching them. And the sargasm weed, like you mentioned, has just been a, a nuisance. It's been from from the beach off Miami Beach to the beach off Bimini. I mean, it's yeah, just geez. solid yeah. from here to there. Yeah. And it's been really tough to fish through. Definitely planer fishing would be near impossible. Yep. Um, but the dolphin have been out there, but not thick. 
And what we've noticed in the last few weeks even is there haven't really been any schools. They've just been singles or pairs. If you hit a bunch and you get three or four, that would be like a, a, a big hit. Right. Yeah. And on the flyer, at least we've got a tuna tower, so that gives us that height advantage. So a lot of them, there's no bird activity. There's nothing floaty, nothing to really point them out for us. And we just spot them swimming through the grass. And uh, once we do see them, they've been eating good, though. We cast a live bait to them or even a cut bait or we're getting them on the feathers. Right. And uh, a feather is a great way to fish when there's a lot of grass out there, especially if you get one that's kind of uh, thick feather. So the hook is kind of buried in the feather where when the fish bites onto it, they'll still get hooked, but it kind of sheds the grass a lot better. So you're not having to pull it in every 30 seconds pulling that grass off of it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, and, and that you gets know, you heavy, man. Ho- What's that? That gets heavy when you get load up on that grass, man, and you're like, you know, it gets lumped on there when you're reeling it in sometimes. Oh, I know. I mean, it's it's heavy if you got to do it once, but if you got to do it 500 right, times throughout exactly. the day, it really gets heavy. Right. So, you know, like a ballyhoo with the hooks very exposed, if you had a rig ballyhoo, and it, it's just, you know, full of grass the whole time. So, we mainly just been pulling the feathers, and we do have some rig bally who, in case we get into a swath of clean water, but the feathers have been working, and then uh, we hook one on the feathers. Some of them we're seeing them, some of them we're not, and then dropping the live baits back in case there's any other fish there. Right. A lot of the fish have been uh, on the small side, so we've been letting go, mm, been letting go probably a quarter of the fish we're catching, then the other three quarters have been legal size. Okay. And uh, okay. The, the short ones, we put a tag in them, let them go. So if you catch one with cool. a tag in it, um, most likely he's going to be a short one. Right. Uh, unless he's been tagged for quite some time. And actually, we tagged one last week. I think we tagged him on Friday, and he was recaptured. I don't know the exact location, but uh, from what the biologist told me, it was over towards Bimini. Wow. He was recaptured on Saturday. So in one day, we tagged them Friday, recaptured Saturday. Very cool. And, and yeah. their growth yeah. rate is, like, insane. insane. Yeah, right? it really is. So yeah. It cool. is. Uh, you know, he, he didn't grow too much overnight, but, yeah, their growth rate is, is huge. And I might have even mentioned this on the show before. We we tagged one that most of the ones we're tagging are short unless we happen to have a really good day and then we start just letting them go because we have more than we want Then we'll tag the larger ones. Right. But we tagged one... Roughly three pounds, say. Okay. And nice. he was re- he was recaptured 300 days later off Dominican Republic, and he weighed 44 pounds. Wow. Man. Oh, so man. in less than a year. What I mean, a, that's less a than full a grown year. Dolphin. What a buffet line along that trip, huh? Damn. Can you imagine, <laughs> like, like, being born and growing to, like, age 40 in less than a year? I heard when you were born, man, you were, like, nine pounds at, like, six months. When I was hey. born, I was... <laughs> I, I, I got a question about the tag. Um, yeah. Is it, like, a barcode thing? And where do you mount it and see it if you want to, you know, like, if you see a fish, where's the tag typically okay. at? Okay. Good so question. the tag will be up in his shoulder, and it's a, a, a bright orange. They call it a uh, spaghetti tag. It looks like a, a little streamer. So the fish has to be recaptured for the tag info. On the tag has a number and a uh, like a tag number, yeah. and it also has a contact number where you can get in, in touch with the biologist. And when you do catch one, note where you're at. And if you're gonna, if you let the fish go, just drop down the info. Let him go with that tag again. Maybe he'll be recaptured down the road a second time. Drop down the uh, uh, roughly where you're at and roughly the size of the fish. Okay. And when you caught him, of course, so then they they know how long he's been at bay there. Right. And uh, I mean, if it's a legal size fish and you gaff him and you're like, oh look, he's got a tag in it, you know, definitely report it because it's uh, great scientific data that they're looking at. Hopefully help us keep catching these dumb things for the next hundred years. I'd say he was famous for uh, really tagging a lot of fish, and I've actually seen him do it on his boat, was uh, Captain Bowser Smith. He's really? He's a big proponent of tagging fish. Nice. And he's tagged many, many, many in his day, boy. So, uh, cool. all the caps practically Well, so preach. have we. You know, you know, know yep. we tag a lot of sales as well, and last night, at last count, we had the record for the most tagged sailfish in oh, the Atlantic. Way no go. way, Nice man. job, man. That's what awesome, Jimbo. Jimbo. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> like that. Sweet. 
we got to rock the clock here, man. So what's your game plan in the Keys? You can stay there for July 4th weekend, get pounded a little bit with some Budweiser's yeah. and hang out or what, man? <laughs> Yeah, well, we're going to go to Flamingo today, and if uh, if we have a good day, uh, I'll probably go back there tomorrow. We're going to just do a, about a three quarter day, all right, cool, and then get back to the house here and barbecue and maybe have some refreshments. <laughs> what, 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 what is the, define refreshments, Jimbo? Would you please? Um, cold Budweiser. <laughs> Jimbo's beer is so good. It's the way he drinks his beer. Yeah. It never, ever gets warm, man. Really? Oh, no. I think it never gets warm towards the bottom. It's it's it, right there. Go, 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 go. Does he, do you no. put it in one of those little igloo <laughs> things? You know, you ever seen no, that? He just tips no, it back and shoots it, man. Amateur. Oh, he just yeah. chugs it. He's okay. a chugger. He's yeah. a chugger. All he's, right. he's a tough guy. No, guy. He's no. Jimbo. Jimbo with a shield, man. Jimbo, have a great July 4th weekend. Don't blow any digits off, man. Have a yeah. great time, okay? <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, you got it, guys. Good tip. <laughs> See you, bud. Right, talk to you next week. All right. Hi, everybody on the Facebook stream. It's at Nautical Ventures. Log on to Nautical Ventures, and the Facebook stream is right there. All the uh, 35,000 listeners on 940. Thank you for driving around hey, with us this morning. Talking yeah. about blowing off digits, Joe, how do you feel sitting next to Eric there? And you see, I see he's already pulling his illegal fireworks out and getting ready to blow some stuff. What, I, am. I mean, are you uncomfortable sitting next well, to him? Or The question is, how do you feel about that? Isn't this uh, it's his house? <laughs> <laughs> I watch the clown show every Saturday morning, so I'm, <laughs> you know, ready here to watch. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. And also back at 940, Eric, thank you, brother, for all you do. Take our first break. Come back with more Caps Galore, man. 611 at Fox Sports 940. Live. Live, baby. <laughs> Bring up the glory days of gasoline. It's just not made the same anymore. Kick your gas into gear with Star Trek. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. Hear that? That's the sound of confidence. The sound of confidence brought to you by Nationwide Battery. For over 30 years, boaters and fishermen have counted on Nationwide to fire up their engines to keep their electronics going week after week, year after year. They have the largest selection of batteries at the best prices. With dockside installation available, if you count on your boat, then count on Nationwide Battery. Visit them at nationwide-battery.com. Nationwide Batteries. The sound of confidence. You love your boat. You love the water. But you'll love them both even more with a new Mercury V8 four-stroke outboard on the transom. The four-stroke's 4.6-liter V8 powerhead delivers exhilarating acceleration and top speed with uncompromising durability and reliability. While its advanced midsection and undercowl noise management create the smoothest, quietest ride on the water, the 250 and 300 horsepower four-strokes are famous for superior hole shot and fuel efficiency. See your Mercury dealer today for the exciting 250 and 300 horsepower four-stroke outboards. When it comes to kayak fishing, Nautical Ventures knows what you need to catch fish. They carry top brands from Hobie, Ocean, Wilderness, Old Town, Perception, Neki, and are experts in rigging your kayak. They'll customize your kayak with fishing amenities, lights, depth finders, and anything else that fits your personal fishing style. Nautical Ventures has the largest and latest selection of kayaks and accessories in stock. And you can try it before you buy it in their exclusive AquaZone. Go to nauticalventures.com for more details. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for kayak fishing out on the water the gear you run can make all the difference a good day's fishing or coming home skunked that's why simrad is the brand of choice for sport fishing fans across florida find the richest fishing holes with our powerful radars navigate the coast with our award-winning displays and take a closer look beneath the surface with our best-in-class sonar to build your perfect fishing system navigate to simrad-yachting.com <laughs> Is your boat properly insured? When's the last time your agent called to discuss your policy? We're People's Insurance Underwriters, and boat insurance as you know it is about to change. We understand how the right insurance agent can make the difference in getting your claim paid or not. Our agents are lifelong boaters whose focus is on service, reliability, and savings. We can make a difference in your boat insurance. To learn more, go to thehappyboating.com. People's Insurance Underwriters. Insurance for boaters, by boaters. It's time to play ball, and we've got nine innings of sweet baseball bliss. 
on air on your smart speaker. All right, gentlemen, we got a little bit of time here if you want to say good morning to anybody. Ozzy! Mm, we do. Richard Hector's checked in this morning already. I see Ozzy. I see... John Barlow says tax-free weekend to buy fishing gear. Ooh. That's a nice tip, man, huh? Yeah, right. man. <laughs> Helen Whitmer's got us on. Nick Brent saying hey, hey. Right? Hello, Karen. Uh, have, Karen, uh, uh, Jason Gabriel. Good morning, brother. Al, how's it going, brother? George Barroso. Don Swell Patrol, he's calling us, I guess. I guess it means we're the patrol guys. Yeah. Fishing patrol. Uh, yes. Patrol control, whatever. Correct. Thank you. Yes. I want to smoke bomb here in a minute. Nice. So make sure you uh, Just don't blow that up in my them face. Because yeah. the, no, the, so nobody eats them. Oh, uh, you mean as far as the refuse? Eats, the bird, yes, the bird yes, up? please, yes. yes. Okay, thank you. Captain Deb. To me damn rules She's there. on. Ah. Oh, is that going to blow up? No. I it's think it's going to blow up. It's going to blow up, it's, it's, man. It's, it's going to smoke, dude. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty. Isn't that great? Is that a fart bomb? Oh, God, great? it's blowing him. You're listening to the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. I know everybody says... It can buy me a boat. Powered by Mercury Marine. It can buy me a truck to pull. Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. And the fishing buddies everybody needs. Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. You're hooked into the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Oh my God, that was a real... Real great idea. Boy, that was, a, that was a great firework, Came Aaron. back with a break. I threw a smoke bomb at Joe's uh, mango <laughs> jug over here, and it about killed us both. So My God. That was genius. <laughs> Jeez. I'm the fireworks already, man. You know what Oof. I mean? Welcome back to the show, folks. It's July 4th weekend. Joe Hector, my man over here. Stephen J. Gray flying his bad boy behind the scenes there. Eric back at 940. So thanks, everybody, for being with us. Special toy chest coming up later on today. Talking about some things you can actually buy and afford. It's a... Man, North Palm Beach has got a blowout. If you drive by that store today, you're going to see stuff stacked up just like just insanely priced, I might add. Nice. Stephen J. Gray's got some slides coming up on that stuff. Awesome. So. Yeah, it looks like a, a lot of cool toys uh, coming lot. up. And we're going to have a toy, a master to tell you a little bit about them as well, joining us. Yes, we, we will. love our toys. And we love bass fishing, don't we, Joe? Because you and me do a lot of that together. You bond yep. together and catch those things with a. That special candy you like a lot, which I'm a big fan of. I might add. You know yes, I mean? we do. We catch some some big peacocks. We yeah. catch some freshwater tarpon. Candyman, Bradbury. Yeah, that's right. Candyman. <laughs> Nothing like candy. That means that lead is for Alan Zaremba, the fast man. He's on a trip going somewhere to fish this morning, Joey. Ooh, can't wait to hear. Big Al, what's up, bro? Hello. <laughs> it's raining. That's what's up. Uh oh. Where the hell are you at? There's no rain here today. We had a well, I'm on my way up. I'm on my way up to fish for snakeheads today. Okay. And uh, it's raining in Hollywood in Fort Lauderdale, so uh, wow. uh, I'm head north. But but uh, and by the way, he, we hooked a bunch of tarpon this week. No candy, all on on, on artificials. So nice. it, it could be. Nice. Could what be what did you use? What artificials? My Bagley minnow bees. They they uh, they love them. Oh. Uh-huh. Joe, keep those in mind for your tournaments, man. I think those are going to be like that. put away there, pal. You know, yeah. Yeah. All right. And, and we, we've also been getting uh, snook this week. Okay. Uh, that's in both, both my North Miami Canal systems have been working very good for the tarpon and snook. So it's it's kind of a fun time. Uh, we, we are getting some peacocks as well. We're, we're uh, at, you know, once not biting this week, the largemouth. They, they've not done anything for me this week. So wow. maybe they want the candy. Huh. <laughs> is there a reason for that, you think? Or is it just the heat or just... Well, e- even the peacock bite is not as fierce as it was, okay? Uh, the heat affects all the fish. Right. So it's been basically an early morning bite. And that, that's been my first hour or so. Uh, has been great for the tarpon and the snook. And some peacocks. And, and again, no large mouth, but what can I say? Right. I'll work on that this week. I- I guess I'll have to get some candy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, try it once in a while. I'll give it a try, man. Okay? I, uh, yeah, Alan, candy I, man, baby. I do have a there. question, though. 
So I love uh, fishing for snook in the summertime off the beach. Now I don't know if you if you do that, but um, if I if I was going to use any kind of lure, what would you use trying to catch one of those big snook off the beach? Well, off the beach, I, you know, I, I don't know what to tell you there because I just don't do hardly any salt okay. water at all. He doesn't even know what salt fresh. water is, Joe. I know. I just figured me? I'd ask, yeah, you know, because I, re- you know what? I am thinking yeah. about using some lures on the beach this summer. Well, you're asking the wrong guy. Well, he has, I just he has I, no I idea what I'd ask. a salt water estuary he is. He catches okay. snook, you know. By the way, he's always right, like right next to where we are located. He needs to come in one day and hang with you guys. He okay, does. he really does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Alan, just make sure I call it sick that day. <laughs> oh. Oh, my bad. Anyway, so. <laughs> if you want me to come in, you're going to have to do it soon because I'm getting ready to head to Brazil. So, Ooh, oh, right. that, let's do it. I'm going to be gone from July 16th to August 7th. Let's, we'll, we'll miss can you, we man. have him come in the next show? We'll miss you, man. I yeah. want to hang with him. Yeah. All right, fine. Let's bring him in. I think it'd be awesome. Let's get off, off the damn planning and get back to the fishing news. We have a show right. to do here. So next we? show. Here we okay. go. Okay. So anyway, Al, so the Everglades, the local canals, C8, C10, I mean, they throwing anything C8, at you? C8, C9. Uh, the Everglades, to me, is not as good this time of the year. Uh uh, not to say that you can't go out there and catch some peacocks. Right. That's about the only thing going on out there right now. All those great fish we were catching along with the peacocks there a month ago, uh, they've kind of slid off and gone hide into the back areas now because the water's come up so high. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, wh- that, what are you yours, using for the snook? For your, the snook is it's, it's the same thing. It's subsurface <laughs> bait, jerk, the, the hard jerk bait. Did you know about that, Eric? God, you know, what's Joe on a tangent, man? You can't get them off it. It's going to be snook. How deep? <laughs> Where were they? Were they in a tree? I want a snook. Would you throw at them? How, what, what monofilament did you use? Was it braid? I mean, <laughs> all these things that he needs to know about. This well, port or starboard side of the boat? Starboard port. Uh, you know, bow, I need stern. it all, man. I, I, I need all the info. You are just the you info know? man, bro. Holy moly. the info. Moly. Yeah. You want the escort, too, by the way? <laughs> I'll take it all, man. I'll take it all. <laughs> so... All right, so to the freshwater snook, I've caught a few of those, Joe, back when I lived in this place in Miami Lakes. And I'll, I'll tell, I told Al before, they got a different body texture than a normal oceanic snook. Oh, I, yeah. They're softer, kind of mushy. They're really kind of a weird they're, snook. They're like fatter and long. Like where the, the ocean snook that I catch are clean looking. They're like the, really these are, white. The, the canal snook are not the same, Yellow. man. Yeah. yeah, they're kind of These slimy. are dark. Yeah. yeah. Are they? Are, hey, I hey, think hey, they hey, are different, hey, aren't they? They're so fun. I don't know. Alan, aren't they a different, like, subspecies? No. They're not. No. What happens, what happens, and snook and tarpon and jacks and some ladyfish occasionally and, and uh, uh, big mouth sleepers and other fish that's yeah. saltwater come up into the freshwater canals, something to train in their instincts that when the current's flowing fast, they go up against it looking for food. And that's how they get landlocked in these lakes. It's still the same fish. Yeah. It's just that they get a different look to them. We even catch some uh, a snapper once in a while in there, too. Mangrove snapper. Yep, that's right. Yep. Really? And they yep. look anything like the snapper. They really change their color when they get in fresh water. That's crazy. Wow. And that C-10 canal I lived on that was C-10 or C-8. I used to sell it. You know, again, you saw some jacks, jacks go by along with largemouth bass. How they f- swim in the same water, Joe, is beyond me. It's kind of, I guess, brackish a little bit. Yeah. And it's very cool to see all those different species mingle together. Sure. So. You, know, you want to hear something really yeah. crazy real quick? Sure. So one of my buddies uh, last year caught a, uh, I think it's called a blue tilapia. Okay. And he caught it in the freaking canals. There you go. Yeah. A blue t- yes. a tilapia in the canal, man. We have we yeah. have about six different species of tilapia. Yeah. Wow. In the canal. But it's That's just kinda insane. neat that way. Only yeah. tilapia I ever see is in Publix. So anyway. Uh, there you go. All right. So, anyway. <laughs> Al, have a great day, Fish. Hope you catch them up, man. Get out of the rain and uh, go do what you do best, brother. And maybe try some candy now and then, you know what I mean? No, Ooh. no, no. Yeah, come on. Come to the dark side. He threw that in there. Uh-huh. The force of Alan, with don't you. ever turn. The candy force will be with you. Yes. <laughs> I feel the good in you. <laughs> All right, Al, we got to go, man. Have a great day, dude. All right? All right, bye. All right, buddy. Tell them to buy a phone, too. Okay, there you buy a damn phone. I think he's still got a flip phone, Joe. That's no. Good. No, I really do. I think he's got a flip phone. Really? Yeah, really. 
I think he's got the brick. All right. So, uh, Danny Ramos is off on the daddy duty today. He had a brand new baby boy, Daniel. Yeah. So, he's got some things going on with that. So, great friend Chris Lemieux, really accomplished angler. But Chris and Stan Hunt, Hank, are the other, they're buddies. Cool. Chris and Stan are buds, bro. So, Chris coming up next. We'll have Bouts of the Sour, Sean Rolls on the show. Don't forget now, 645. Starbright bucket loaded with good stuff. It's on Joe with the trivia today, man. So, oh, I got a no, good we're one. In trouble There's now. no way. And Stephen J. Gray just said it. We're in trouble now. No, I got a really good one. He's going to do this Captain Kirk long, you hey. know, 20-minute story. We'll figure it out, man. <laughs> 625. Something on the wing. Fox Sports. Some. Nine. Thing. Forty. Uh, now. <laughs> Pompano Ford is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Whether you're looking for the power to tow, to ensure you get your shipment there on time, the perfect amount of space with bells and whistles for the whole family, or the ocean breeze in your hair, our award-winning sales staff is here to help you get behind the wheel. With our 21st Century Service Department and on-site Ford Certified Body Shop, Pompano Ford will keep you on the road, ready for your next adventure. Visit us today and drive home in a Ford. You have two missions in life. Go fast and catch fish. The 3.0 liter 150 horsepower Mercury Pro XS will take care of going fast so you can take care of catching fish. On freshwater or salt, 150 Pro XS is tuned to power mid-sized boats to the limit. Full shot and top speed are incredible thanks to the lowest weight, highest displacement in the category and transient spark technology that optimizes spark timing. Talk with your Mercury dealer today about the Mercury 150 horsepower Pro XS. South Florida fishermen know that this is blue water country, where big fish, big water, and big expectations sit right offshore. So we build blue water boats for the blue water fishermen, where yacht grade construction meets 21st century technology. And compromise? Well, we leave that for the other guys. You can customize your own blue water boat by visiting bluewatersportfishingboats.com and discover why boating is better on a blue water. Need to get out on the water? Look no further than Sailfish Boats. For nearly four decades, Sailfish Boats have been catching their limit along Florida's southeast coast, providing families and friends the perfect platform to create lasting memories. With head-turning styling, sail tech construction, and incredible on-the-water performance, Sailfish Boats are sure to meet your demanding needs and wants. Each boat features the legendary Deep V Variable Degree Steep Tall, intelligent ergonomics throughout, and a list of standard features for those seeking a boating experience at an undeniable value. Plus, deep gunnels, comfortable seating, roomy heads, plenty of storage, plus an abundant number of cup holders only steps away from another make Sailfish Boats a must-see. Fishing-focused and family-friendly, Sailfish Boats are versatile. Enjoy hardcore fishing in the morning, afternoon activities with family or friends, or entertain with the Sunset Cruise, all with one boat. So, if you're in the market for a new boat, check out the new 2022 model lineup of Sailfish Center Console, Dual Console, and Walk Around Boats, including the all-new 360 Dual console. Visit sailfishboats.com for more information and to find a sailfish dealer near you. Catch more fish with Fishbrine, the world's most popular fishing app. Fishbrine provides the tools you need to fish better, helping you to make bigger and better catches. With over 14 million anglers from around the world, no other fishing app contains as much detailed data as Fishbrine. Find catches, make connections, learn different fishing techniques. Everywhere from your local pond to the middle of the ocean, it's the only fishing app with maps for every body of water, with specific layers for catches, waypoints, and depth contours. So start catching more fish with Fishbrine. Join for free at fishbrine.com. Calling all dinosaur fans. Jurassic World Dominion is here. Head to Walmart. All right, gentlemen, you got a little bit of time here, Mr. Fishholder, if you want to say good morning to our Facebook friends and family. Let's get that big pillow fish. You guys are on Facebook right now. What was that? You guys are on Facebook right now. Tell Mr. Pillow Holder there. We're on Facebook. He wanted me to tell you. I'm so sorry. I'm playing with my fish. Well, you're playing with your, playing your, with your trout there. Well, it's, it's from my back. Scott! Just logged in. How's it's it going, brother? It's a support fish from my back. It's Scott. Hey, Scott. What's up, dude? Howard Kirk. How's it going, sir? Uh, Jason Gabriel had a great idea. Sean? Can I just say something real no, quick? No, absolutely Jason not. Sorry. Yeah. He says, um, I say we start to go a fund me page to get a real professional young lady on Eric to fix his back. Man, I like that idea. That's a great idea there, Jason. Like live on the show? Like, maybe uh, lays me out on, on Steven's deck, and she kind of walks across my back with her very, like, three-inch feet. And then... Uh, what? 
yeah. three inch feet. <laughs> like, still tiny feet. What's talking about? Okay. I'm talking about maybe a little wait, wait, wait. small, We're digging little, into small something here. little lady. Can we go back who, to that? Who will walk on my back Is that a over fetish my thing? bad vertebrae and, and straighten them out. Is what we suggest. So let's get back to what you were just talking about. So you. Do you frequent these places? <laughs> oh, it's the one where they uh, have the, I, uh, the bars I, on the wall and I they walk over them. I got a text from him. Robert Kraft that he turned me out of this joint that works on my back, man. It's amazing. Really? Yeah. I just, I just haven't been busted yet. Okay. <laughs> what else do they do there? I, I, I went to one of those places one night and I said, is this a professional massage place? And they, yes, it's a professional massage place. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. Come. Yeah, they throw you the happy ending special. <laughs> and then they go, we have table shower. I'm like, table shower? What the freak <laughs> Oh, you that? have gone <laughs> to one of those I places. Was, it was oh not planned. God, it was man. not planned. So not planned. Steven goes there too. No, the no, no. Do you guys a, go together? Wait, what in the hell is a table what shower? What is this thing? I, well, I wonder what a table shower is. I've I, I asked, is this a professional licensed massage place? They go, y'all, yeah, we licensed. I'm like, okay. Wait, Steven, let's rewind. What is a table shower? <laughs> I didn't get it. Because okay? I'm picturing it in my this mind. This show is really you going, want table shower? going on the X-rated side over here, bro. Oh, We're going to boy. Adultville here, pal. You, know? you found the secret spot to get your fishing in. The Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. I want to go fishing. Powered by Mercury Marine. I don't know. With Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. Anything you want to know about fishing or boating, troll us at 866-801-0940. Holy God, this is more serious than I thought. Watch the show live on the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. We'll certainly look forward to that. The Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. July 4th weekend, Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show is going great. First half hour, but a blast, man. Just having a little time jousting with uh, yeah. Alan Zaremba and his trials well, and tribulations. You lost your fish. Oh, my fish blew off again. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And then during the break, we're don't, don't blow your fish off. Oh! I see Jake Ray going to places for a, a massage. No, yeah. no, 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 no. That was crazy. We, we will huh? go there with that. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> normally Danny Ramos is on with the Blue Dream, but right. he's uh, taking some time off with the right. baby duty. And our great friend, firefighter, uh, all around charitable kind of guy. Cool. Cool dude, man, and a great fisherman, man. Chris Lemieux is back on the show. Nice. Come How's on, going, man. Let's hear it. Yeah. Hardcore, man. Chris, good morning, brother, man. I know you're heading out, so your phone might have a couple of issues. You said you're heading out for a charter, right? Yep, heading out right now as we speak. Just pulled away from the dock, so headed out for another beautiful day. It's a little <laughs> breezier than I like for this time of year, but it is what it is. We'll work around the conditions and figure it out. Yeah, well, I saw a couple of Facebook yeah. posts that you've done uh, not so shabby this week. Talk about some of the things you're catching up in the Boynton Beach area, man. Yeah, it's um, we, we've it's been okay. It hasn't been great. To being being honest, it has. It's been there's been a little bit of everything, but not a lot of one thing. There's been a handful of, of dolphin there. We've been, uh, you know, just still you know summertime stuff. Schoolies with a handful of you know shorts mixed in. Uh, you know, we had some nothing big. Biggest fish we had this week made maybe ten pounds, something like that. But By the way, for those who don't know. Chris is a firefighter. We thank him for his service. Yes, definitely. 100%. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah. So you're saying a 10 pound uh, mahi was your big one, which is still, is that considered a gaffer or kind of a swinger, Chris? Uh, I like to gaff them. You know, it's, it's a security thing. You know, you make sure you come in the boat and try to flip a 10 pound fish and he breaks off or something like that and pulls the hook. So yeah. I like to gaff those. I get considered a small gaffer, I guess. But okay. So yeah, we've been. Catching a lot of the schoolies and stuff, standard summertime stuff. Uh, that's been pretty good. There's been some yellowtail snapper when the conditions are right. Oh, yeah. Um, the grass has been extremely horrible, so no matter what you do, doesn't matter if you're on the reef fishing, doesn't matter if you're 10 miles offshore, uh, the grass has been extremely scattered and, and very frustrating to try, try to fish through. So um, we've been dealing with that, but, you know, there's been a lot of bonitas this time of, you know, this time of year. There's a ton of bonitas around, uh, which is good. Just bend the rod if you want to do that. And those have been shallow on the reef anywhere from like 80 to 150 feet. So, um, you know, it's been pretty good. If you want to get out there and bend the rod, there's definitely some fish. You know, I would say your best bet's been some dolphin offshore. They're a little shallower right now considering we've had a lot of east wind the past couple of days. So anywhere from the 600 feet all the way to the reef is kind of where we've been catching the dolphin. So, right. um, and if you want to catch some snapper and anchor up and, and you know, 
things like that. 60 to 80 foot area has been best for yellowtails, mutton, and uh, and that kind of stuff. So, hey, so, so the bottom fishing's been so decent, or what would you say? Yeah, the Solid? bottom fishing's been pretty good. As long as we have a good north tide and good north current and stuff like that, uh, it's been pretty good. We've been anchoring up and catching some really nice yellowtails. Okay. Um, just gotta, you know, just gotta utilize the chum. Uh, do all that stuff and then fish a bigger bait on the bottom for the mutton, like a goggle eye or, you know, live big filter or threads and herring or something like that for the mutton. Right. Uh, hey, Joel. Yeah, it's been pretty good. I want to turn down the fact that Chris and Muse got a YouTube channel, and I watch a few of them, Chris. And you've taken Benita and shown everybody how to make the really great uh, Benita belly strips to pull uh, as bait. Uh, you still got that up online? That video was pretty cool, man. The way you cut those strips, man, it's like a surgical procedure, bro. It's great. Yeah, yeah, it should be up there on, on YouTube and under my YouTube somewhere. I only did it, I've only done a handful. I don't have time to do, you know, be a full-time YouTuber. I got enough on my phone. I've definitely <laughs> yeah. put a few out there. Some of these guys have way more time than me, so they have a ton of videos. But I put a handful out there. Yeah, we did one cutting Bonita strips and how to do it and everything like that. And nice. It's a pretty quick video, but it shows you kind of the gist of how to do and what to do, and, and you can make your own Bonita strips. I right. think number one thing I, love, I saw I that video was uh, using a very sharp knife. He was using you know, to surgically well, get that thing just the way he wanted sir. it, man. Oh yeah, I mean? right? Oh yeah, yeah Chris. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sharp knives are key to pretty much anything: cutting yeah. fish, cutting <laughs> strips, all that stuff. So. Well, Chris, the, the bonita they got that skin right that like it's it's tougher. It'll yeah. stay on longer yeah. and stuff like that, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. It's like leather, and what we do once we're done cutting the strip or cutting the slab, we'll. Uh, will salt it a little bit and it, it dries the meat out and dries the skin out a little bit smart and yeah. uh create create like a little bit of like a piece of leather so right. um which is good you know you could drag it really fast um it, it's really durable it's a it's a great all-around bait for golf and kingfish wahoo you know name it catch tuna just catch even bonitas the back on it so great um, it's a great you know it's been a staple for the uh, charter business bait for years because it's you know, they're abundant this time of year. You know, they're easy to catch. Uh, you know, they're easy, you know, fairly easy to cut. And uh, it's just a great all-around bait. Chris, I got a question for you also uh, about the sargasm situation between uh, Boynton Beach and down in, towards Miami. It's basically everywhere. How are you fishing around that stuff? How are you avoiding it and, and getting so tangled in your lines, your baits? I mean, how are you working that stuff, man? So, I mean, I, lately I've been wanting to troll. I mean, trolling's kind of out of the picture, uh, to be honest with you planers and stuff like that yeah so we've been uh we've just been strictly drifting mainly and live baiting just because when you're drifting you're kind of drifting with it and you don't get catch as much of it so uh, it just not you know it just makes it a little easier but it, it still gets caught on our drifted line uh it's still you know we still deal with it just in different ways so there's you know it's just tough when you're uh when you're trolling it just gets caught on everything and you're sitting there and clearing all day instead of fishing you know properly so we try to avoid the trolling but it ha if you've got to do it you've got to do it yeah man yeah i got I mean, one, more yeah, one more question yeah one more question man hey chris um I got a lot of guys that uh, I'm from New Jersey, so I get a lot, I get a lot of guys from up north that ask me they want to catch muttons, right? They're really, I, I guess it's between the color, the, you know, the way they look, they're bottom fishing. Let, let and they taste, man. I'm yeah, like, okay, you can eat them, you. the whole shabam. But a lot of them have been asking me about how do you rig for mutton when you're fishing? And I know there's a certain trick to it, you know, with super long leader, the whole shabam. Yeah. Can you give us just a quick rundown on what, you know, you do when you fish for mutton snappers? Good question. Yeah, it's basically your your, your normal bottom fishing rate, but uh, super sized leader. Um, you know, I'll fish anywhere from 40 to 80 foot a leader sometimes, depending on the conditions. If the water's real clear, I'll fish a really, wow. really long yeah. leader. Wow, damn. Um, and, you know... You can either use an egg sinker and slide it on your main line, or you can use like a, a dropper loop type rig where you slide a swivel on your line. Um, you can look it up online, most of you know, right. and, and just have that, and uh, it works really good. It just depends if you're anchored up. If you're targeting them and you know an area where they're not, anchoring up's the best. Uh, if you do not have an area, just kind of drift an area and start seeing, you know, marking fish and. You know, then generally outside the reef, a lot of people don't know that. They think they're right on the reef. Mutton snapper actually prefer the sand outside of a reef. So oh, find a good reef and good tip. fish the sand outside of it and, 
and that's usually where they live. So best thing to do sometimes is just kind of drift an area and figure it out. And if you start getting bites in the area and you start catching really good, then you anchor up on top of them and then Damn. you know fish fish a big lead and, and uh, long leader and hold on. Good, good stuff. question, good answer, man. So, Chris, yeah. I know you get your hands full. you got a charter going on, man. So, I right, catch him up today, dude. Thanks, Have a Chris. Have weekend, Chris. Uh, take care of your fighter, fighter brothers in the community that you do. And uh, I guess basically tell everybody, don't light fireworks off on your pants. <laughs> sure. oh, tell Stan I said hi. Right. <laughs> All right, guys. Sounds good. Thank you very much. Have a good fourth. Thanks, right, Chris. You too, bud. All right, man. It's time for the pressure. Joe, it's heck. Start it's right. Bit. Bucket time. I'm getting excited, man. I love this bucket. Wash and I wax. Know you do. And rust remover and cleaner, deck wax, Ooh, whatever. Yeah. Stephen J. Gray stolen out of the bucket that's oh. left to talk hey, about. Hey, come on, man. It's in there. It's made in America, by the way. Made in America. Made in America. America. Uh, Proudly made in America. Guys who picked these up always shoot me back a private message, man. Eric, open that box <laughs> up, and it was loaded with stuff. Yes. Here's the pressure, bro. Give us All your right. trivia cue, and I'll give Eric back at 940 the answer for the winner, okay? I hope you guys are ready for this. Wait, hold on one second. 866-801-0940. Start dialing now. Joe, it's on you. Go, bro. What is... What is... The most deadliest fish... Deadliest fish... In the world. Can he say ex-wife? What is the most... Ex-wife. <laughs> What is the most deadliest, deadliest fish, fish in, the, in the world? This has been certified as the deadliest fish? Yes. Do you have an A, B, and C? Yes. Okay, please Okay, do. you ready? I have no idea. Okay, so is it A, the piranha? Okay. B, wahoo? C, I'm going to go to D, C, shark? And D, the stonefish. We're speaking of deadliest to humans or deadliest to other fish? To humans. Okay, deadliest to humans. Yes. That means either to touch them or consume them, whatever the hell you are. When you get around them, they could kill you. You're done within, uh, Give us the four again, please. Uh, you you will die within an hour. Okay, give us the four choices again. So we got, we got piranha. Piranha. We got shark. Shark. We got Wahoo okay. and Stonefish. And I, I do not know the answer. I have no idea. I don't know this one either. I can't wait to find out. Man. I was thinking shark, but maybe not. Call now, man. Win this bucket. Take a, take a wild guess. One out of four. You can't lose. Better than the lottery by far. 866 801 0940 to Fox Sports 940 right now. Live. Win, baby. <laughs> I'm George Pulveromo, and I've made washing and detailing my boat an art. I'll avoid dish soap, which quickly strips away protective wax coatings and even begins eating into the gel coat. For me, it's Starbright Boat Washes exclusively. They're specifically formulated to keep boat surfaces impeccably clean and protected without stripping wax finishes. Available in pine, citrus, and blueberry scents. Go to Starbright.com to find a retailer near you. Starbright. Clean and protect. Pompano Ford is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Whether you're looking for the power to tow, to ensure you get your shipment there on time, the perfect amount of space with bells and whistles for the whole family, or the ocean breeze in your hair, our award-winning sales staff is here to help you get behind the wheel. With our 21st Century Service Department and on-site Ford Certified Body Shop, Pompano Ford will keep you on the road, ready for your next adventure. Visit us today and drive home in a Ford. Joystick piloting for outboards by Mercury enhances virtually every aspect of boating, delivering ultimate confidence through effortless and intuitive joystick boat control. Mercury's JPO, designed for dual, triple, and quad Verado-powered vessels, allows you to simply and efficiently move your boat in any direction, sideways, diagonally, forward, backward, or even rotate in place. And you can dock or maneuver with confidence in tight spaces despite wind and current. Ask your Mercury dealer about joystick piloting for outboards. Is your boat properly insured? When's the last time your agent called to discuss your policy? We're people's insurance underwriters, and boat insurance as you know it is about to change. We understand how the right insurance agent can make the difference in getting your claim paid or not. Our agents are lifelong boaters whose focus is on service, reliability, and savings. We can make a difference in your boat insurance. To learn more, go to thehappyboating.com. People's insurance underwriters. Insurance for boaters, by boaters. South Florida fishermen know that this is blue water country, where big fish, big water, and big expectations sit right offshore. So we build blue water boats for the blue water fishermen, where yacht grade construction meets 21st century technology. And compromise? Well, 
we leave that for the other guys. You can customize your own Blue Water boat by visiting bluewatersportfishingboats.com and discover why boating is better on a Blue Water. Out on the water, the gear you run can make all the difference. So it's no surprise that Simrad is one of Florida's most loved and trusted brands for marine electronics. Simrad brings all the components of a great day's fishing together in one place. Powerful radar, advanced sonar, and award-winning displays. It's all integrated and trusted by consumers for more than 75 years. To see what true marine heritage looks like, navigate to simrad-yachting.com. All right, gentlemen, a little time if you want to say good morning to our Facebook friends and family here. Uh, Frank Ferraro, our media director, happened to make a crack to me. He says, uh, Eric, hope that uh, big-ass fish uh, pillow is helping your back. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I wouldn't know because uh, Joe's got on his lap. No, it's mine now. It's mine. Uh, yeah, I think Joe likes it. <laughs> I'm being Mia. But Joe does not this like your mine. Sm- But Joe does not like your smoke bombs, that's for sure. Oh. That is true. Yeah. We just loaded another one during the break, and it was uh, going wacko on us. I think my head shrunk. <laughs> I can't. This thing isn't fitting me today. I don't know why. I wish my head would shrink. It's actually huge. Oh. Uh, let's see here. Uh, do, do, do. Nick Brent says, here's a question. How does Joe Hector know about any of this? LOL. Oh. Because do Joe know? does his research, my friends, on these things. He has no life. He has no right. Life. It's called Google. <laughs> <laughs> Works well. Now everyone's going to Google. <laughs> so Frank Ferrero, our media director, had made a, a comment, which is pretty cool, about the question you asked. Yes. But if I said what he said, it would give away the answer to the uh, question. Ah, yes, yes. I think yes. I know the answer. The, it's, not, the, it's not what you think it is. The blank fish was also in the epic surfing movie Endless Summer. So I sort of gave it away. The what? Say that again? I, I, I left out the name of the answer. In the, okay. okay. The blank fish was also in the epic surfing flick, The Endless Summer. Ah. This goes back to before you were probably even a sperm. Okay? Probably. Seriously. I'm yes. thinking, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. It's back in my day. I was there. You're catching all the fish because you're tuned into the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Powered by Mercury Marine. Don't catch all the fish. Drink all the beer. With your hosts, two legendary fishermen, Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. Oh, I certainly admire people who do things. Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. You're just the guy I want to see. Glad you're here. Drop the guys a line at 866-801-0940. One ringy dingy. And now, while you drink all the fish and catch all the beer. Come on, pull yourself together. It's back to Eric Brandon and Joe Hector on the Nautical Ventures Weekly. Fisherman Show. Well, check this out, man. Dan Stevenson told Eric back at 940. This uh-huh. is the right answer, by the way. Uh-huh. He called him with the answer. He's in his shower. The shower is going, and he said, man, I can't talk, man. I'm ready to drop my phone. Wow. He just said, I got the answer. He gave it to Eric, and we got it. So That's awesome. Should I read it? Should I give it out? Yeah, he's got the right answer, but go ahead and give it a, a choice one more time. So, uh, the, what is the most deadliest fish in the world? Yes. Okay? Yeah. And it was also mentioned, like you said, in what? In a movie? The movie Endless Summer. Uh, Endless so, it doesn't Summer. have two legs in this female. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> so, the answer is... Yes. The... Drum roll, please. Brrr, bang. Stonefish. Which can kill somebody in under an hour. It's the most venomous fish in the yes, ocean. The and by the way, they're located here locally, I might yeah. add. The stonefish is the most lethal with enough toxin to kill an adult human in under an hour. Outstanding. Yeah, You get paralysis, Ooh. you get heart failure, necrosis. Pretty much not good. What does the stonefish smoke? <laughs> what? <laughs> Whatever it is, I touch it, man. So, yeah. Mr. Mr. Wonder, congratulations to the client for the yeah. show. And hopefully the uh, phone didn't fall down and break on the shower. It's, it's going to be funny as hell to hear this guy man, telling Eric, I got the answer, I man. Know. And then the phone freaking <laughs> drops on the ground, okay? He's in the shower. Anyway, oh, man. let's go to Georgia. Talk to Captain Bouncer, shall we? I think Ooh, he's back up there to stop Captain the Captain Bouncer. Where's that lead? It's even Anyway, Captain there we go. Bang. <laughs> I feel better now. Cap Bowser, my friend, good morning to you. Good morning, gentlemen. And yep. you're right. I'm back in Georgia. Back nice. in Georgia. Yeehaw, baby. So what's going on, Captain? We had a blast, by the way, last well, week. Yeah, we did. Yeah, great show. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I did something different this week. Okay. Uh, I went nighttime sword fishing, 
We went two nights. Freddie, David, and I took out a guy from Texas, and uh, it was really crazy. We got ready. We got no bites the first night, and the, and we said they will go home. And the guy said, "Well, give it till one thirty. That's my lucky time." Mm-hmm. At one thirty, we caught a uh, Cuban night shark, about one hundred and fifty pounds. What kind? Wow! The second night. We're out there. We did catch a black tuna. Okay. But again, nothing was going on. And I said, oh, it's 128. Better watch the lines. All right. I kid you not. 130. There he is. The, the, light, the light is running around on the surface. We caught a nice swordfish and uh, tagged him and let him. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. We didn't have any tags. On, but, but we did release him okay. and headed home. Uh, the guy's second. Royal Billfish Slam. He had uh, all the billfish of the world. He's now done it twice. And uh, we were able to get him a second swordfish. So Outstanding. Really, Very really, cool. Way to go, man. Had, uh, Good stuff. You know, we did it all the time in the in the 70s and in the 2000s. But we hadn't done it since uh, gee, probably 2010 was the last time. We caught a swordfish at night, so... Man, don't go back before nice. Joe was born there, Cap. Keep oh. things a little more you know, recent, okay? Because he wasn't around back in the 70s and 60s or whatever else. Anyway, yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> you can't all be around all the time. <laughs> it's true. All right, so that's a great catch, great experience, and... Uh, Anything else been happening? Do a little freshwater fishing? I know you're up there the streams and creeks in, in Georgia. So you use a little, little bass time if you wanted to, right? Is there trout there? I think. Yeah, but uh, Georgia has great trout fishing. But nice. I've actually been re- I've been recuperating from all the fishing I did in Florida. <laughs> and then the drive home, of course. So uh, right. yeah. I've been laying low for a couple of days, playing with the dog and, and uh, putting out the bird food and stuff just to... Domesticated stuff, really dangerous. But uh, getting ready for a beautiful Fourth of July. I want to remind everybody that uh, when you boat this weekend, be safe about it. Yeah. Uh, sure. Drinking and driving doesn't go well on the boat. No. Any more than it does out on the ocean. Nope. And by all means, hydrate, hydrate, yes. and then hydrate some more. Yeah. Because uh, beer is not, no, nor are soft drinks. Good for hydration. Right. Hydration. Wait, why are you talking about beer like that? <laughs> I didn't say you couldn't have a beer or two, but yeah. it will not hydrate you. Okay. So, uh, All right, Kev. Well, hey, I uh, hope you have a great fire at the July weekend. Please uh, be careful and safe up there. Come and see us again. We loved you on the show last weekend. Yeah. And, uh, have a great fourth, Cap. As always. Thanks, Captain. You guys, too. It's always good talking to you. Keep up the great work. Thanks, Thank Cap. You. Sean Rawls, our man, on a boat or a kayak. This guy's a fishing machine, JoJo. Oh, yeah. He's your Captain bro. He's Sean. your bro, man. Yeah, really Sean good guy. Sean Rawls, rolling in here. Good morning, Captain Sean. How you doing, buddy? What's up, bud? Good Good morning, guys. What's going on, man? Are you, on the, you sound like you're on the water, dude, are you? No, I'm not on the water today. Come uh, on, I need to, uh, come on, man. Come on, I need to make Sean. a good phone call after last week. I'm sure that was a little hectic to hear in the radio. Dude, that was awesome, no, it was awesome, Sean. man. You were hooked up tight, man. It was great, yeah, Nothing dude. like hearing drag. And I saw the fish afterwards on Instagram, but he killed yeah. it, dude. He had a great day. That was great. Yeah, we, we caught all those fish in the first hour of fishing. Damn. Wow. Except for, I think, later in the day, we got one, like, 16-pound king that rounded out our top Eric, five. do you have pics of those fish? So it, can you send it to me now I, so we can show? I don't have those this time. Sorry, Steve. Nah. So, Sean... Sean, what are you hearing about uh, the fish reports? Um, Captain Chris pretty much nailed it on the head. There's a ton of weed out there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, If you can find a spot between the weeds and troll, there have been a lot of Wahoo caught this week. Oh, nice. Ooh, see, I told you. There's your your fish, man, Joe. Yeah, man. That's your baby, man. Yeah, dude. It it seems to me that you really got to play the tides and time it when the weed's in or out way offshore. Okay. And, you know, pick your zone, and you're not going to fish... 100 to 300, you're going to fish 200 where there's no weeds. Right. If right. you're going to want to troll effectively. And just. Oh, but, yeah, no, a couple of have been caught. Um, there's been a pretty good sailfish bite for the summertime. Okay. Crazy. Which is good. So yeah. you want to keep that in mind. If, if you're not going to troll, always have a live bait out. Even if you're bottom fishing, keep that one flat line sticking out the back. Sure. Yep. 
Yeah. I, I would think, though, Sean, with this weed, man, as Joe and I were talking about before uh, with, with Chris, uh, bottom fish, man. He was talking about where the muttons were, and yeah. and they're out in the sand as opposed to being on top of the rocks, which was kind of a cool tip I yeah, this morning. Yeah, definitely. And, you know? and I'd have to say, especially out our in the, here in Broward and Hillsboro, bottom fishing is probably the one most uh, unutilized fisheries that we have here. Really? Oh, I agree. There's, there's big groupers that are caught. If you go right up on the edge of the reef and about 75 feet and drift to 150 feet, you're going to catch muttons. Yeah. I mean, sometimes three or four on a drift. you got to weed through the small ones, but there's a lot of fish there. Think about this. This is interesting. And, Sean, I just looked at this when I was looking back. For the last eight extreme tournaments, not including the Sailfish Smackdown, okay? Right, so right. for the meat tournaments, right. every single one of those tournaments yeah. had a big mutton caught. Nice. So yeah. it just shows you, because we're right out of Pompano. They yeah. come in. They usually... I would say ninety nine percent of the time, yeah. land it coming in okay. when they're when they're you know shallow by the sure. pier. Sure. So it just shows you they're not even fishing for them. <laughs> they're just dragging a line. And they're right there, done yeah. coming in, nice. and they're getting a keeper uh, mutton. Do you have a category for mutton? Yeah. 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 You know, okay. Yeah. I caught one that was like thirteen pounds, I think, in the middle of nowhere yeah. last year. Crazy. So. Yeah, man. Yeah. One tip I will give you too. Um, everything. Captain Chris said about the leader and everything. But one tip for our local waters is put your sinker on a rubber band when you attach it to your Yes, line. yes. Because we have so much hard bottom and structure down there, you're going to get hung up. Very so good if you tip. get hung up with a rubber band, the rubber band breaks, you lose your sinker, and you still have everything else with you. Yeah. Good That's nice. a good tip, man. That's a hell of a tip. See, every sh- I told you, every show for 16 years, Joe, it doesn't matter what it is, somewhere in a two-hour uh, time segment, we get some tips. Like, again, I heard Chris talking about those muttons weren't necessarily on the rocks. Yeah. They're on the sandy area. Yeah. He's using 60, uh, I don't know, 50 feet of, uh, of, of leader, which yeah. is strangely large, I might add. That's a lot. Yeah. And then, you know, They're Captain smart. Sean's talking about the fact that muttons are the, one of the most under uh, sought after fish in Broward County, I had no idea about. So, yeah. rubber band, man. So, the whole deal, man. Great tips, and, guys. And I will say, too, Sean, and I'm sure you saw this, guys are starting. It's starting to become a thing where kayakers are going out and they're catching tilefish. Not just regular tilefish. Yeah. They're getting goldens. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, right. yeah. Right. Um, a guy from your tournament series actually went out two weeks ago out of Dania. He has a motor on his kayak. So still he went out and he had a nice golden tilefish. Yeah, look at that, man. Sean, we got to do that. You know, that's something that I would want to do because... I've, I've never caught... I've caught in tilefish, yeah. but I've never caught a golden, I have and I would yeah. love to yeah. catch one on a, a kayak. A bouncer's boat, I might add. Yeah, big, big-ass golden. Yeah, yeah, see, that would be... So we got to rock the clock here, man, but again, uh, what's your main platform on uh, social media? I love following you, man, and watching you do stuff his, on Instagram. His TikTok is blowing up, man. Oh, TikTok, too. Well, give Instagram, us a... Instagram, Facebook, Sean Rolls, just my name. Sean Rolls! How lucky to have your own name. I had to make up a couple of names to actually get log on. Everybody took, <laughs> took Eric Branded, so I got to be Eric Branded, 35, 18, yeah. whatever the hell I am. But anyway, yeah. so Sean, catch him up, man. You're, you're the man. Great to have you in the program as a yeah. new captain on the show for a couple of months now. And uh, you really are one hell of a fisherman, man. No doubt about it. Definitely. And Sean, your box thing is still in my truck, by the way. You know that, right? Oh, yeah, I really wanted to get... Okay, I'm going to get that. Yeah, so I'll see you this weekend. You have, to come, around, so. you have to come hang out with me now. Nice so. to you, yeah, I'll be around putting out fires in my yard from all the neighborhood <laughs> fires. <laughs> nice when you talk about your little anywhere. chit-chat. You guys have got favors with each other. The audience has no idea what you're talking about. Anyway, I know. They love it. Okay. Sean, catch them on, man. Happy 4th, bro. All right. See you, bud. All right, thank you, guys. All right, well, check out the keys with George Clark Jr. By the way, if you stop by our North Palm Beach store today, Joe, yes, they have got a July 4th blowout thing going on, which is enormous. I'm not going to really blow it up right now. We'll do it later in the toy chest. Okay. But, dude, if you want some deals on some kayaks, man, I mean, I'm literally, I'm watching the pricing. This is a weekend to buy a damn kayak. And I'm not, I am not blowing smoke up your pie hole. It's real sale stuff. You sound excited. I am excited. Okay. I like when I can afford something. Okay, thank yes. you very much. <laughs> Take a break, 658, Fox Sports, 940, baby. Live. Live. Ah. Pompano Ford is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Whether you're looking for the power to tow, to ensure you get your shipment there on time, the perfect amount of space with bells and whistles for the whole family, or the ocean breeze in your hair, our award-winning sales staff is here to help you get behind the wheel. With our 21st Century Service Department and on-site Ford Certified Body Shop, Pompano Ford will keep you on the road, ready for your next adventure. Visit us today and drive home in a Ford. 
a place to store your boat? How about a wet slip with ocean access? One with hurricane protection and a full service yard? Nautical Ventures Marine Center in the heart of Fort Lauderdale has dockage starting at just $12 per foot per month, the lowest rate in Broward County. Our full service yard performs all boat works from bottom paint to engine repower to total refits. Coming soon, a new state-of-the-art 200-unit dry stack. Go to nauticalventures.com slash marina for more information. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for fun on the water. Nothing beats the thrill of extreme kayak fishing with little standing between you and fighting a monster fish. And when it comes to kayak fishing, nothing beats a Hobie with its hands-free Mirage Drive propulsion system. Nautical Ventures is your exclusive Hobie dealer for Broward and Palm Beach. They have the widest selection of models and accessories to make your Hobie uniquely yours. They're rigged by our in-house experts who fish the tournaments. They know what it takes to win. Go to nauticalventures.com to learn more. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for Hobie. Is your boat properly insured? When's the last time your agent called to discuss your policy? We're people's insurance underwriters, and boat insurance as you know it is about to change. We understand how the right insurance agent can make the difference in getting your claim paid or not. Our agents are lifelong boaters whose focus is on service, reliability, and savings. We can make a difference in your boat insurance. To learn more, go to thehappyboating.com. People's insurance underwriters. Insurance for boaters, by boaters. Need to get out on the water? Look no further than Sailfish Boats. For nearly four decades, Sailfish Boats have been catching their limit along Florida's southeast coast, providing families and friends the perfect platform to create lasting memories. With head-turning styling, sail tech construction, and incredible on-the-water performance, Sailfish Boats are sure to meet your demanding needs and wants. Each boat features the legendary Deep V Variable Degree Steep Tall, intelligent ergonomics throughout, and a list of standard features for those seeking a boating experience at an undeniable value. Plus, deep gunnels, comfortable seating, Roomy heads, plenty of storage, plus an abundant number of cup holders only steps away from another make Sailfish Boats a must-see. Fishing-focused and family-friendly, Sailfish Boats are versatile. Enjoy hardcore fishing in the morning, afternoon activities with family or friends, or entertain with the Sunset Cruise, all with one boat. So, if you're in the market for a new boat, check out the new 2022 model lineup of Sailfish Center Console, Dual Console, and Walk Around Boats, including the all-new 316 Dual Console. Visit SailfishBoats.com for more information and to find a Sailfish dealer near you. I light the night for my grandfather. All right, do you guys have a little bit of time here if you want to say good morning to our Facebook friends and family there with no headsets on? Oh, boy. Um, Joe, you hear me? Yeah, he does. Okay. You guys are uh, up on Facebook if you want to say good morning to anybody. All right, we'll do that. Up, 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 boo. Uh, oh, Jason Gabriel uh, had the answer. Stonefish, by the way. So, Jason, you got to call the, the 866 number there. We can't take you on the stream. We need you on the phone there, brother man. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. That was a very, a damn good question, Joe. I had not known the answer. I thought maybe Thank shark you. or you might have thrown the, the lionfish in there because they can definitely put the hurting on you. But yeah. But ain't going to kill you. You know what I mean? Right, this it's, thing like shuts it'll swell your body you up, but it, that thing will kill you in an hour. The venom is so is so toxic. How many people have they killed uh, recently or in a year? Do you know any stats on that? I don't know. I got to look it up. Let me see. I'm sure it's right there. Uh, Only Stephen J. Gray wants to know what the mortality rate was on stonefish. I mean, <laughs> come on, it's, it's such a happy topic, Steve. Thanks, pal. Uh, How many people that killed her, Joe? <laughs> I've never heard of anybody being killed they, by a stonefish. Did they die slowly and in total agony? And how much pain were they in? I mean, I was actually shocked myself. You know what I mean? Like, when I heard about that. Yeah. I heard, though, if you eat the uh, wrong part of a blowfish... Oh, you're dead. You're dead. Well, in Japan, you know, uh, when they go for big business meetings... Yeah. They order that on purpose to see if Who's got whoever's some, they're hiring got nuts? for the new guy they're hiring to make sure that he's legit, that he's tough. But he's not, they're not giving the part that kills him, are they? No, but they say that yeah. if you eat like two or three of them, your like the, mouth starts to go numb it's and It's like tingling. the liver or something of that blowfish. Oh, you're done. If yeah. you eat that, if you cut that wrong. Remember that scene in John Wick? Did you watch the Wick's thing when the, uh, the chick walks up to the counter and, and he says... No. This is a deadly blowfish. Oh, yes. It kill you. It kill you. She just goes, pops right in her mouth like, okay, come on, man. Beautiful morning. Oh, ain't that beautiful? It's all too beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. It's all too beautiful. Beautiful day. Oh, my, my, my. It's a beautiful day. 
Any day fishing's a beautiful day. Now back to the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Powered by Mercury Marine and brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. Now, here's your fishing buddies, Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. Hour number two of the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show on July 4th weekend. Thank you so much to everybody on the Facebook stream. You guys rock. Watching the show and all those listening on 940 across all of South Florida on iHeart across the planet. Joe Hector, my great friend here, doing a phenomenal job. Your, Thank you. Your question was just really banging great on the, Thank the you. trivia today. It was you know, I got to admit. Awesome, man. When my dad was here. Yeah. He helped me with that. Oh, did he really? Yeah. Oh, he said, is he cool, said this would be a good question. And again, thanks to uh, Stephen J. Gray flying this bad boy behind the scenes, Eric, back at 940. Yeah. Down to the Keys we go, our great, great friend, the Fish Guys on TV. Cooking chef himself, just a badass fisherman Joe all around. Yes, sir. And he also cooks some damn good tacos, too, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I heard he fillets uh, those puffer fish blindfolded. Oh, really? And, and feeds them to his crew. <laughs> yeah. He's it's the man. the man George Clark Jr. George, what's up, dude? My man George. Morning. Good morning. Hey. Good morning. Happy 4th of July weekend. Happy 4th, George. Yes. <laughs> what you doing, baby? What's going on? Oh, I'm playing with uh, fireworks. Nice. This time of the morning, really? Yeah, no, I'm kidding. Not yet. Yeah, no. Not, not yet. No. Uh, I'm really? sure somebody is, though. Oh, There's I'm no sure. Well, we have lots of idiots in my neighborhood doing that. <laughs> I, I've already lit off a couple of bad ones in a bucket here. The smoke bomb about killed Joe and I, so uh, yeah. I'll knock that crap off. <laughs> <laughs> I almost killed over and died. <laughs> anyway, George, how about, some smoke th- how about some smoking things underwater in the Keys, man? What's going on with that, down that way, buddy? And you know what? It's... Uh, the wind has picked up. We had that long trend of no wind, where uh, we had we had really nice conditions. You could run offshore in a flats boat, and go mahi fishing, and now the wind has kind of turned back on. So uh, I think people are not going to be, you know, running too far offshore this morning unless you're in a little bit bigger boat. So, yeah. uh, but that's been good. The mahi bite picked back up. Okay. Um, the, the problem that we found was those really calm conditions that everybody loves so much aren't great for mahi fishing because yeah. we just had a hard time getting close to fish for the most part. Yeah. You know, you find some birds work and you get up on them, you can see the fish waking on the surface, you try to get over there, and they're like, no, nope, no, nope, not going to happen, I'm out of <laughs> here. And you can just see them bolting, you know, <laughs> going the other direction. Right. Um, but, you know, good conditions. Uh, to to be out on the water, nonetheless, and uh, when when the fish when you did find a piece of debris, um, that's when you could kind of just pull up to it nice and easy, and the fish would you know follow up to the boat, and you'd be able to sit there and catch the mahis and and um, pick through them, and lots of other things hanging out, the the triple tails and the almaco jacks and trigger fish and all sorts of stuff on the debris, and then yeah. if you drop those vertical jigs down and work them quick, you might even get a wahoo bite or something like that, okay. but. Um, but there has been this this past week. We've had a couple tournaments here in the Keys. My buddy Brian Cohn mm-hmm. ended up winning the uh, Island Marotta Fishing Club uh, Winter Take All event. Cool. Nice, with nice. Like three three really nice fish. It's a three fish aggregate, and he had ninety something pounds with three fish. So that just shows you there's some good fish out there. But uh, you're not going to find them in four or five hundred feet of water. You're going to have to bolt and get offshore and get out there in the great blue yonder, and that's when you're going to find find something floating with some nice fish on it, you're going to find the mig- migrating fish. So um, as far as my is concerned, it, it's uh, feast or famine. You know, you got to go find them. It's not, you can't just troll around off the edge of the reef and, uh, and expect to catch a bunch of fish. But, but reef fishing has been good too. And I know that you guys were talking about some black fin tunas. Um, yeah. Those deep, those deeper wrecks have definitely had some really nice fish on them. Great. Um, not big, not big numbers, but if you put the time in, uh, you, you definitely have a chance to catch uh, some fish that are twenty plus pound fish, and uh, you pray and hope that the sharks leave them alone. And in a lot of cases, they do. If you can get you know the fish off the wreck far enough, then the sharks they they seem to stay right on the structure. You hook a fish on the structure, guess what? Um, the tax man will come in, and okay. he will take your <laughs> he will take your 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 fish. No doubt about it. So. Uh, what else we got going on? What, what's going reef on with fish, the muttons? Yeah. You yeah, and your muttons again, good. man. Well, we figured we'd be, we'd been uh, hearing some good stuff about them. Let's keep it going, right? Yeah, sure, I, Joe. Well, I listened in a little bit, um, <laughs> and and you know that's pretty much spot on. Like, so we've been catching some really really nice muttons, and 
And, you know, we I like to go out in the mornings and catch pilchards. And I get as many pilchards as I can fit in my live wells. And then I'll go out there. And the whole trick for me has been staying off of the structure, staying off of the, the rock piles and, the, and the, the little reefs and stuff, staying off of that and fishing in the grass. And uh, I heard I heard the, the last guy say that, you know, he caught a 13-pound mutton in the middle of nowhere. Yep. Yeah. Well, yep. that's just because they go wherever they want to go, and they like to sit out in the grass. And in the grass, I think they, they forage for those little crabs and stuff crawling around. Right. And they're so keen. You know, they're, they're such a keen fish. We've actually had to go down and, and, and drop down to like 20-pound floral leaders to, to get those fish to bite. because wow. And those, still, those calm conditions... The, uh, the the water, the clarity, you know, the visibility is just so good. Yeah. So you got to drop down and use that lighter leader. But here, on the flip side of things, if you use a, a Daiichi hook, or a, I use Daiichi circle hooks, they're very sharp. Nice. Um, if you use a circle hook uh, and you get the bite on those, there, there's really not much they can hang you on. Maybe a sea fan mm-hmm. or something out there, sure. but you have a really good opportunity to kind of play them out and, and, and finesse fish them and catch them. And we're talking fish that get up to 15, 18 pounds, 20 pounds. Oh, man. Yeah. You know, I mean, these are big, fat mutton snappers. Nice. <laughs> you know? fat is right. I remember, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you a story, and I got to tell you, I got to give you some other news, too. Well, I'll give you the other news now. I'm the, uh, uh, my daughter, Savannah, had her second child last night. Oh, congrats, dude. Yeah. So, congrats, congrats dad. Dude. New member of family, awesome, and uh, she turned out beautiful, and All I had right. to mention that because awesome. that's yeah. what we did awesome. yesterday. But uh, my dad, growing up, he was a he was a trolling guy. He loved to troll. Yeah. He, liked the, he liked the fact that you could pull something around, and when a fish hits it, boy, he liked to hear that reel just start Same, singing. Man. Yeah. 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 To remember that. And then we're going back to the days where... He rigged all the ballyhoos with beaded chain rigs. You remember that? Yeah. You remember? Yeah, yep. It's, you got to go back a long way. I go back a long before, way. You know, <laughs> you know, before before people really started using, uh, you know, single strand, you know, wire to, yeah. to rig ballyhoos and stuff like that. But I remember him rigging those, and he would put a yellow, you know, lead head feather in front of that thing. And he would have, like, two hooks in the ballyhoo and... It just looked goofy to me, but it worked. And he would pull that in Hawks Channel out here off the Keys yeah. in shallow water. I'm talking like 20 to 30 feet. And he would he would go buy a sea fan or something. He, he'd catch these big mutton snappers. Nice. Oh, and he man. did it consistently all the time. All right. And with today's gas prices, you know, it's kind of hard to want to troll all day long. So, you, you know, we yeah. find other things to do. But, uh, yeah, you can go out there. You can catch groupers. You can use what what they have nowadays. They have these lip lip plugs, you know, like the old Rapalas. Now now they have these stretch plugs sure. that uh, have the big lip on it. And yep. now you can get down a little bit deeper. Or if you want to go one step further and troll around, you can get planers. You get the right size planer with a, with a longer leader on it. And you can get down and pull a, a ballyhoo or pull a, you know, just a... Even even just a lure, in, right. in most cases, you can pull it by a little rock structure out there, and guess what? You'll catch a legal grouper. <laughs> so, I mean, you've got options, yeah. guys. <laughs> George, yeah. we can talk to you all day long, man, but we're, we're late on a break. We've got to pay some bills here, man. But, hey, just have a happy, safe fourth, and congrats to you, by the way, on yeah. the baby. On the baby, yeah. on you, the baby awesome, man. man. Way to go, man. Congrats, I'm sorry for the baby, bro. Awesome. Everybody be careful lighting off fireworks, too. You know, don't blow your fingers off. It's hard to tie hooks on with no fingers. <laughs> yeah, that's Eric. That's, thank you, George, uh, very much. <laughs> happy 4th, George. Happy thank 4th. You, yeah. All right. See you, bud. See you guys. Happy 4th. Take a break back with Norm Beck off this hour. Captain Deb Dale in the Keys. Nice. Toy chest coming up all right here. Fox Sports 940. Yo. Uh-huh. Remember the glory days of gasoline? It's just not made the same anymore. Kick your gas into gear with StarTron. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. Pompano Ford is...
is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Whether you're looking for the power to tow, to ensure you get your shipment there on time, the perfect amount of space with bells and whistles for the whole family, or the ocean breeze in your hair, our award-winning sales staff is here to help you get behind the wheel. With our 21st Century Service Department and on-site Ford Certified Body Shop, Pompano Ford will keep you on the road, ready for your next adventure. Visit us today and drive home in a Ford. Need a place to store your boat? How about a wet slip with ocean access? One with hurricane protection and a full service yard? Nautical Ventures Marine Center in the heart of Fort Lauderdale has dockage starting at just $12 per foot per month, the lowest rate in Broward County. Our full service yard performs all boat works from bottom paint to engine repower to total refits. Coming soon, a new state-of-the-art 200-unit dry stack. Go to nauticalventures.com slash marina for more information. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for fun on the water. Nothing beats the thrill of extreme kayak fishing with little standing between you and fighting a monster fish. And when it comes to kayak fishing, nothing beats a Hobie with its hands-free Mirage Drive propulsion system. Nautical Ventures is your exclusive Hobie dealer for Broward and Palm Beach. They have the widest selection of models and accessories to make your Hobie uniquely yours. They're rigged by our in-house experts who fish the tournaments. They know what it takes to win. Go to nauticalventures.com to learn more. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for Hobie. When it comes to kayak fishing, Nautical Ventures knows what you need to catch fish. They carry top brands from Hobie, Ocean, Wilderness, Old Town, Perception, Neki, and are experts in rigging your kayak. They'll customize your kayak with fishing amenities, lights, depth finders, and anything else that fits your personal fishing style. Nautical Ventures has the largest and latest selection of kayaks and accessories in stock. And you can try it before you buy it in their exclusive Aqua Zone. Go to nauticalventures.com for more details. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for kayak fishing out on the water the gear you run can make all the difference a good day's fishing or coming home skunked that's why simrad is the brand of choice for sport fishing fans across florida find the richest fishing holes with our powerful radars navigate the coast with our award-winning displays and take a closer look beneath the surface with our best-in-class sonar to build your perfect fishing system navigate to simrad-yachting.com is your boat properly insured? When's the last time your agent called to discuss your policy? We're People's Insurance Underwriters, and boat insurance as you know it is about to change. We understand how the right insurance agent can make the difference in getting your claim paid or not. Our agents are lifelong boaters whose focus is on service, reliability, and savings. We can make a difference in your boat insurance. To learn more, go to thehappyboating.com. People's Insurance Underwriters. Insurance for boaters, by boaters. Dan Collins. That's the best back-to-back -back performance ever. Dan Collins. Gentlemen, got a little bit of time here before we come back uh, to the uh, live radio portion of the show. Hello. Hello. Welcome back here, man. We're talking some stuff with Joe and I behind the scenes here, man. Richard Hector goes, puffer fish, not blowfish. Can't touch the skin, liver, guts, etc. Dad just corrected us on the show that the puffer fish is the deadly one, Joe. I thought it was the blowfish. Maybe if you do too, maybe if you do too much blow fish, oh man, it can kill you. Oh, so, by stop. the way, our ace producer um, uh, uh, Eric uh, Lingell said to continue stonefish conversation. Brooke Shields steps on a stonefish in the movie yes. Blue Lagoon and almost dies. I remember that she gets a high fever for days and comes yep. out of it. And he said he remembered it well. Uh -huh. She was uh, that was back in her real real cutie days. You know what I mean? She survived it though in the movie. It was part of the movie. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. She made it through, but she did step on a stonefish and got pretty okay. silly, goofy. It's a fairly moderate but her, option. Her boyfriend kind of saved the day in this well, of course. stranded lagoon. Had a happy ending. Right? Were you the boyfriend? Steve, Steven knows all about happy endings. Oh! oh <laughs> wake up! Wake up, friend! You're waking up to the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show with expert troller Eric Brandon. Here comes the king of hits. Plus extreme angler Joe Hector. This is more than we bargained for. Powered by Mercury Marine. And brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. 
To talk to fellow fishing fans, call 866-801-0940 or send us a message on the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. It's the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Welcome back to the show. July 4th, spectacular going on. It's been a phenomenal show so far. The captains have been great. Yeah. My great friend Joe Hector, Stephen J. Gray, flying the show. Eric Good Beckett, info today. 940. Huh? Cool info, man. Good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. To the happiest man on the entire planet and beyond. Yes, he is. He is the man with the plan to stoke on the finest kind, Joe. Finest kind. <laughs> he just got back from Disney, And I think. he is the finest kind all the time, man. Yeah. He got, just got back from Disney means he has no money left in his wallet. <laughs> Captain Norm Beckoff. Good morning, brother, man. Captain Norm. Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> Norm, first of all, how you doing? How's fishing? Give us some news we can use there, brother, man. Yeah, the fishing in Broward County this week has really sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's great. I love his brutal See, honesty, man. That's what we need. He don't BS nobody, dude. We should put that quote nope. in the post. He's just spot on honest, man. I love this guy. Yeah, that's you great. Know? Come on, Norm. It, it's okay. So here's the deal. Yeah. Um, the the uh, the weed has made it very difficult to fish. Uh, a lot of guys are going out there. They're starting out there. They're, they're starting oh, out man. trying to fish with. Yeah, they're trying to start out with uh, by trolling the planers and the top baits, and the weeds just been really atrocious and made it very difficult uh, to fish. Yeah. Um, the uh, there's been some big, beautiful weed lines offshore, uh, but and, and and I mean like. The conditions for it, uh, you know, we had very calm, uh, very calm weather, uh, almost too calm, really. A couple of days there of almost no wind, yeah, uh, which isn't always good. And, right. Uh, but I mean, you can get offshore, you can fish these big, beautiful weed lines, and uh, you know, and the weed lines were alive, so to speak. Okay, I mean. You can, you know, you you can troll for miles down a big, beautiful weed line with lots of bait in it. Right. Uh, but it was just there was an alarming lack of mahi mahi. Uh, I mean, like this is one of the worst years I've seen in my life. Norm, wow, we talked okay. last night though. You said a combination of dirty water, a uh, lack of current. All this damn weed and other things or factors that you just had a really, as you said, sucky was, week. You know. Yeah, it's 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 been it's been very difficult. But there's been a there's been a real lack of fish. Uh, the few fish that I heard of that were caught were caught way offshore. Right. Uh, I made a couple of long treks way offshore, like twenty to twenty five miles offshore. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and the only fish that we actually did catch uh, were off of turtles. Okay. Uh, wow. They were they were not in the weed lines. Uh, we did find floating debris offshore with no dolphin on them. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's it's just been like I said, there's an alarming uh, lack of of fish uh, off Broward this week, and I don't understand why that is. Well, I guess the word sucks is now a new fishing term, Joe. Yeah, I mean... Okay. <laughs> is there, like, an El Nino going on or something that you know about? No, it's just sh schlocky conditions, man. He just said it's yeah, weed and all kinds the of The whole crap. year, though, for Mahi, right? Yeah. Like, if... if and we've yeah. heard this from multiple captains. Yeah, yeah. So what what could it be, you know? It, do they have a new, new uh, track to go, you know? Are they... No... No, long liners. I, I, uh, I think I think there's been a tremendous amount of pressure on the fish yeah. in the Gulf of Mexico, yeah. and I've said it before, yep. and you know I'll say it again. There are what I believe are there are two uh, distinct uh, bodies, biomasses of uh, dolphin fish in the Atlantic Basin, and the and the fish that we get come up through the Gulf of Mexico. And I think they've just been hammered. Mm. Uh, even the guys in the Keys that normally, you know, put full limits, federal limits in the boats are not doing that. Yep. Uh, so by the time they get up here, there's just not that many fish. Right. Uh, by the way, the so weed line has never... 
been this bad, guys. I've never, and I've been the news helicopter flying the beach every day. Yeah. I've never in 17, 18 years of flying seen uh, so, such bad weed situation. In fact, a lot of the cities are having trouble clearing the beaches. They have to set up uh, yeah. tractors and things. It's just that, that bad. That which means high phosphate. Up the beach, you know what way. that means? What's that mean? High phosphates, which okay. means pollution. Gotcha. Um, that's that's true, and and and. Uh, the, even the guys out of Hillsborough Inlet uh, are t- are telling me that there's so much weed up there right. that even you know some of some of the guys are getting it chalked up in their uh, intakes and it's a real problem. Yeah, and the sad part of all is the coral reefs. Yeah, you know they can't survive in this. They cannot survive if there's high phosphates in our water system, which. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see what they are. But, um, yeah, if there's high phosphates, the coral can't compete. And then they get overtaken by yeah. all the, you know, the, the seagrass, the, uh, which blocks out the sun. Yep, yep, they yep, get, yep. They, you know, then you have uh, the, the weeds growing all over the reefs. And yeah, they, it you know. sucks, basically. That all sucks. That's a city for fish. But let's finish up on a positive, there, there, po- positive there, note, okay? Yes, there are, there, are some, there are some positive notes about our fishing. Uh, most notably, the nighttime yellowtail snapper bite has oh, been yeah. very good. Okay, uh, I like okay. that. Um, yeah, yeah, baby. And so, if if uh, snapper fishing is your thing, uh, that's been you know that's been a real positive note. Uh, the bottom fishing, uh, because all these guys that can't troll, uh, a lot of guys are are uh, electing the deep drop. And the black belly rosefish, uh, of course, are very easy to catch. And there's lots of them. We talked about it last night, Norm, did we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe the same a day. Yeah, I'll give you a string of black belly rosies. Well, I'll catch a nice three eighths fish. <laughs> what a great seven hour uh, trip that was, man. But uh, Norm, yeah. we got we got to rock the clock, man. But hey, have a happy fourth, man. Don't yeah, blow off a digit, okay? Have a great weekend. Yeah, I, I, my my advice is go to IKEA. <laughs> I can't stand going there, man. Yeah, but you got to build that crap. I don't. I hate I don't like that. that. No, that no, no. <laughs> Thank you, Norm. Thanks, Bye, Norm. Okay, guys, have a good one. All right, so Joe, July Fourth weekend means there's a lot of boaters out there doing crazy, silly things. They might be drinking and, and acting silly and goofy, or most of them may not be. But when they get on the water, you got to have insurance on your boat. Yes, you, you do. Okay, you bought a brand new Sailfish and Nautical Ventures, uh, maybe a blue water boat, whatever the hell you got. People's Insurance Underwriters, Jose, Jackie, the boss, is doing a great job. They have turned on and so many of my current buyers. Heck yeah, uh, man. Listeners of the show have called and got quotes. It's this easy. You call them on their phone number, obviously. Just Google them, okay? Right? Right. Or do it even easier. Log on to thehappyboating.com, which you did live on the show. Yes. Put it right up to the, uh, the camera here. Show it right. on the app right there. It says, get a quote. Hit the green button, man. Bang. Put easy. your boat name, boat year, motor. What's your boat's worth? They give you a quote within like a, a yeah. day, less than a day. Yeah. And, and they're good people, they're you know? People. Like, they're bottom, part of the group. They, the captain, the boss, that dies with the kids. He's not probably catching spear, spear and grouper today, but yeah. they're practice what they preach. Great folks. And again, they cover you for the right price, man. So please log on. Check them out at thehappyboating.com. Up next, Joe. Going down to see what's happening in the Keys after Jen hopefully gives us some weather today. On Fox Sports, <laughs> nine forty. Good morning. Live. <laughs> I'm George Poveromo, and I've made washing and detailing my boat an art. I'll avoid dish soap, which quickly strips away protective wax coating, and even begins eating into the gel coat. For me, it's Starbright Boat Washes exclusively. They're specifically formulated to keep boat surfaces impeccably clean and protected without stripping wax finishes. Available in pine, citrus, and blueberry scents. Go to Starbright.com to find a retailer near you. Starbright. Clean and protect. Pompano Ford is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Whether you're looking for the power to tow, to ensure you get your shipment there on time, the perfect amount of space with bells and whistles for the whole family, or the ocean breeze in your hair, our award-winning sales staff is here to help you get behind the wheel. With our 21st Century Service Department and on-site Ford Certified Body Shop, Pompano Ford will keep you on the road, ready for your next adventure. Visit us today and drive home in a Ford. 
No outboard moves from zero to top speed quicker than a Mercury V8 300 horsepower Pro XS. Featuring generous displacement and a performance-tuned powerhead for industry-leading acceleration and top speed. In South Florida, the 300 horsepower Pro XS is perfect for bay and flats boats when you need to cover a lot of water fast. Pro XS simply can't be beat when it comes to performance and reliability. The 300 horsepower Pro XS has everything you need to travel faster, farther, and harder. South Florida fishermen know that this is blue water country, where big fish, big water, and big expectations sit right offshore. So we build blue water boats for the blue water fishermen, where yacht grade construction meets 21st century technology. And compromise? Well, we leave that for the other guys. You can customize your own blue water boat by visiting bluewatersportfishingboats.com and discover why boating is better on a blue water. Is your boat properly insured? When's the last time your agent called to discuss your policy? We're people's insurance underwriters, and boat insurance as you know it is about to change. We understand how the right insurance agent can make the difference in getting your claim paid or not. Our agents are lifelong boaters whose focus is on service, reliability, and savings. We can make a difference in your boat insurance. To learn more, go to thehappyboating.com. People's Insurance Underwriters. Insurance for boaters, by boaters. Need to get out on the water? Look no further than Sailfish Boats. For nearly four decades, Sailfish Boats have been catching their limit along Florida's southeast coast, providing families and friends the perfect platform to create lasting memories. With head-turning styling, sail tech construction, and incredible on-the-water performance, Sailfish Boats are sure to meet your demanding needs and wants. Each boat features the legendary Deep V Variable Degree Steep Tall, intelligent ergonomics throughout, and a list of standard features for those seeking a boating experience at an undeniable value. Plus, deep gunnels, comfortable seating, Roomy heads, plenty of storage, plus an abundant number of cup holders only steps away from another make Sailfish Boats a must-see. Fishing-focused and family-friendly, Sailfish Boats are versatile. Enjoy hardcore fishing in the morning, afternoon activities with family or friends, or entertain with the Sunset Cruise, all with one boat. So, if you're in the market for a new boat, check out the new 2022 model lineup of Sailfish Center Console, Dual Console, and Walk Around Boats, including the all-new 316 Dual Console. Visit SailfishBoats.com for more information and to find a Sailfish dealer near you iHeartRadio Earth is here with a new All right, gentlemen, got some time here. If you want to say good morning to our Facebook friends and family. Okay, let's see. All righty, we'll do that, my brother. Let me see here. Let's see. Bart Hetfield. How's it going, Bart? Great show, guys. I was on the beach patrol in Deerfield Beach a very long time ago and treated several stonefish injuries. Ah. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. I got one for you. This is wait, awesome. It's I, still going. Hold on. Wait, wait. I, I want to say out of okay. this guy, dude. Okay, okay, okay. Greg Ray, I don't recognize his name. Okay. New viewer, obviously. He says, hey, good morning, guys. Two of the funniest dudes on the radio. Cool. What station is he listening to? He must be talking about Eric. He must oh, be talking about oh, Eric, oh. Eric and Steven, I think. Oh. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Uh, Jeff Wyatt and Watergrad says, uh, morning, guys. Have a sap- safe and happy fourth. Thank you, bro, very much. Thank you. Let me finish uh, what Bart said. Yes, please. And he said, also, uh, lobstering in the Bahamas. Right. Uh, and Buddy took a shot in the forearm, blew up like a balloon, and he was very sick during a long ride back yeah, wait, to the took island. Of, took a shot of what? From a stonefish. From the stonefish. And okay. then he just wrote, nasty, nasty, nasty. So, yeah. That that question's definitely been. Uh, Is there like an anti-venom uh, cure? I would thing? think. Uh, you know, have snake bite stuff. You can be bit by a snake and, and live. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even a I black mamba. I mean, I assume that there has to be if these people are surviving it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But you got what did it say? You have an hour. An hour, dude. Yeah. Like you're done. <laughs> I mean, it's. <laughs> You're pretty much uh, going to be floating out there, pal. You know what I mean? But, I mean, do you... Uh, here's the thing. You step on something in the water. How do you know it's a stonefish? And then you you just start, you know, falling apart and dying. I mean, that's crazy, man. Well, I think the only way you know is if you... if Like what Bart said, if you're diving with a buddy and you see it. Yeah. But if you don't, Don't man, see it like you step done. on it. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's insane. And they're here. Yeah. That's what's even more insane. When I was looking... When my dad and I were looking up, you know, the most deadly fish, and we saw that. Yeah. I'm like, oh, where the heck are these things? Like South America or something? Yeah. It's like, no, no, right here. Right here. Okay, cool. That's so we got we got that going for us. Yeah. So basically, watch where you step. Yeah, man. But well, what are the well, odds of that happening, though, bro? Well, they live on the on the reefs, from what I read. Yeah. And they call them stonefish. I've seen them on, like, Nat camouflage. Geo shows. I've actually yeah. seen these, but they have, these, they have a very cool way of catching fish. Right. It's hard 
to sleep on Friday night thinking about fishing on Saturday. It's the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Powered by Mercury Marine and brought to you by Papano Ford and Papano Lincoln. An easy way to car. To talk fishing, call Eric Brandon and Joe Hector at 866-801-0940. Listen on the radio or watch us on the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. The Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. We are so happy she's back on the show. I know she's been traveling with the kids doing great mommy things Uh and daddy things. Jennifer Gray Warren, the best weathercaster bar none on the entire planet, I might add, Joe. Yes. Ah, thank you. Good morning. Hi, Jen. Jen. I saw you on Facebook. Where'd you take the youngsters to this time? You're out there traveling somewhere again. I know. We were in in Seattle visiting my husband's side of the family. It was such a blast. And the weather was so cool. The upper 60s, low 70s. It was just so great. That is great weather. I'm dying for that kind of a little cool front, but we're done with that, Joe. We're in that summertime schlocky heat here, Jen. Hotter than hell every day. It's humid. It rains like a crazy day. So, I'm assuming July 4th weekend, are we going to be clear enough for fireworks to go off, or how's it looking for us? Well, today you have a 30% chance of showers and storms, uh, mostly sunny otherwise, with a high near 86. Hmm? East, southeast winds, 10 to 15 knots, seas 2 to 3 feet. Intercoastal waters, moderate chop. Tomorrow, 20% chance of showers and storms, mostly sunny with a high near 87. Mm-hmm. East, southeast winds, 10 to 15. Uh, seas 2 to 3 feet. Intercoastal waters, and moderate chop. Uh, in the Keys today, 30% chance of showers and storms, mostly sunny with a high near 89. East, southeast winds near 15 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Near shore waters, and moderate chop. And then on Sunday, a chance of showers and storms, mostly sunny with a high near 90. East winds 10 to 15. Mm-hmm. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Near shore waters, light to moderate chop. Down in Florida Bay, east southeast winds uh, near 15 knots. Bay waters and moderate chop. Scattered showers and isolated storms. And then tomorrow, east southeast winds 10 to 15 knots. Bay waters, light to moderate chop. Uh, scattered showers and storms. And I'm sure you want to know what's happening on Monday. I do. I do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. In the Keys, uh, east winds 10 to 15. Bay waters, a light to moderate chop. Scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms. And then off of Miami. Uh, hold on. It's loading. I'll let you know. One second. <laughs> no problem. Back. Take your time, Probably Jim. much of the same. Uh, let's see. Monday, east winds 10 to 15. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Intercoastal waters and moderate chop. Could see some showers and thunderstorms in the morning. And then uh, we could see an isolated one in the afternoon. So right. uh, as far as the fourth, I think it's going to be pretty good. I mean, okay. pretty typical for this time of year. You could have the pop-up shower, isolated storm. But I don't think it's going to be a washout for you guys by any means. Cool. Thank you so much, Jen. Have a great time with Coop and Caden. Do yeah, your fourth thanks, of July Jen. bang, bang. And uh, welcome back to the show. We're glad you're back because we love you every weekend. So thanks so much. And yes. Have a happy you. fourth, Jen. Thanks, thanks so much. All right. Happy fourth. All right. Have All right. One. You too. To the keys we go. Our, one of our greatest promoters of the show. We see, oh, yeah. Which Captain you and I, we promote the show. Yep. Captain Dead Day was all over bing, Instagram bing, anymore, man. She's bing, just, bing. she's like our number one uh, agent of the Bing. show, man. Deb Dale, Cap, how you doing this morning? Captain Deb! Hi. Yeehaw, boys, how's it going? <laughs> Living Love the dream. Intro, man. Yeehaw, boys, how's it going? That's her handle, man. Oh, yeah. She owns that thing. Yeah. You think? Yeah. Going well, Deb. It's uh, not a bad looking Deb here in, uh, at Stephen J. Grayland. Uh, how's the keys looking today? Well, I'm, I had to come in the cabin of my uh, boat because I was going to go up on top of the bridge and get a report, but it's blowing. I don't know who turned the fan back on, but it's uh-uh. a southeast wind right now at like 16, so okay. yeah. I can't step outside because like, you can't hear me. <laughs> All right, so during a week you did some fishing, I'm sure, right? Absolutely, yep. I was in the backcountry. Um, I got off the... Um, I got off the phone with you. Um, I got off the show, and then I went and caught dolphins. So um, that day in my skiff. So we've had some really, really, really great weather, um, and now we've got the fan turned back on. But fishing's been really good in the back country, on the reef, offshore, all of it. Oh, really nice. Good. By the way, yeah, Captain Deb has outdone herself once again. Always does. And <laughs> sent us video with audio of a catch, gentlemen. Listen carefully. I am. Please. Here it comes. Roll tape, baby. 
Haha, the audio is not playing. We're going to get it back for you guys in a second oh, here. Okay. Hold on. That was my bad. That was that was just a wonderful <laughs> job here. Let's that do is a big permit right there. All right. Well, oh, yeah. There you go. Swim, baby, swim. I see that baby on the screen. Woo! There you go. Yeah. <laughs> that is a big permit right there. Oh, yeah. Swim, baby, swim. Nice. Pat and Deb in action. Yeah, that is a big permit, by the way, Joyce. See anything on the screen? Oh, yeah. yeah that was I was out. Guys, I was out solo in my skiff, and I, my phone was at like 3%, and I'd been playing, you know, and just fishing around and just messing around, and and the last bite I had was this humongous 30-pound permit, and I got I got that video, and then my phone died. So oh. I did, you, did, you, did you land the fish? Did you land it? Yes. Oh, yeah, I landed the fish. Like that. Oh, now, my question is, water. Do, you, do you keep it or do you let it go? Oh, no, I let her go. Uh, I caught her on the flat, so, uh, yeah, um, I let those go. You know, if we, if we catch them on the wreck or something, somebody wants to capture one and eat it, we'll, yeah. we'll take it then. But if they're caught on the flat, definitely going to let that let her go. We know nice. those permit are, are good eats, Joe. They really Ca are, man. Yeah, permit permit Deb, pop it all, man. Great. I would love you know to mean? catch one with you because I've never gotten a permit. Ever. Well, get a permit, then go catch a permit. No! <laughs> anyway, Deb, how's Blue World, Blue, Blue, Blue Girl Charter coming along there, kid? Blue Water Girl Charters, um, absolutely. Um, we're we're doing great. Um, the boat's good. Um, definitely, we've got some openings this coming week. Um, so, you know, if you guys want to go ahead and book us, you can call us. Um, look us up on Instagram, Facebook, Facebook. Um, all that. Um, I've got an exciting week coming. I've got um, a friend of mine who's coming in town. She's a hunter and a, and a, and a fish chaser. Okay. And we're going to go species hunt. So I'm excited about that. And we knocked off nine species last time she was in town. So this time we're going to try to knock off a few more. When you go cool. species hunting, uh, what do you have to prepare for uh, to get what you want to get? It just uh, you know, just like down here, like you can you can target all kinds of things. And if you you know if she wants. You know, she she wants to catch a big shark. She wants to catch you know all kinds of other stuff. You just have to prepare for what you're going to target, and and it's one of the the hardest things to do down here is actually to go out and target a species. Right. But um, we we seem to try to do that, and it's one of my favorite things to do with a client for sure. What do you do? Like put a sign on the on the uh, hook, like big shark bite here. I mean, I mean, do, what do you have? Do you special bait? Uh, how do you you know know that you're going to get this fish? You don't. It's just a thing of a luck, or, or it's a thing of you know, if you're mutton snapper fishing, or if you're if you're permit fishing, or if you're bone fishing, you know, something like that. You can um, just you know, it's a lot of bycatch, but you'll get your species there. Cool. All right, Stephen Jake, great, good question, to Captain Deb. Deb, yeah. listen, now we're going to rock the clock and take a little break, but have a happy Fourth of July. Glad the Blue World, Blue, I can't even say it. <laughs> Blue Water Girl is doing well. Uh, thanks for the video, by the way. And thanks for promoting the show. It's getting late, Joe. folks. It's been a long two hours, man. So anyway, have a great weekend, Deb. Uh, we love you, Captain Deb. You too, guys. All right, take care. Talk See. to you next week. Bye. All right. Taking a break, Joe. We got a West Palm Beach, North Palm Beach uh, nautical adventure store, which has been around for quite some time. Yeah, we never give those guys enough love, to tell you the truth. But they have a blowout July Fourth sale. This is really, folks. I'm not kidding you. I'm not just trying to really uh, just be a total shill here. You're being a shill. You're being a no, shill. but the pricing when you see on the slides we'll put up of uh -huh. these kayaks are given out this weekend for sale. Really are a true, legit deal, man. Cool. Okay, so... Can't wait to see. Let's talk about that. Come right back to you right here, baby. Fox Sports 940. La! Dang! Bang! Remember the glory days of gasoline? It's just not made the same anymore. Kick your gas into gear with StarTron. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. Pompano Ford is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Whether you're looking for the power to tow, to ensure you get your shipment there on time, the perfect amount of space with bells or whistles for the whole family, or the ocean breeze in your hair, our award-winning sales staff is here to help you get behind the wheel. With our 21st Century Service Department and on-site Ford Certified Body Shop, Pompano Ford will keep you on the road, ready for your next adventure. Visit us today and drive home in a Ford. 
Mercury Verado 400 horsepower outboards are built to power the largest boats for the boldest adventures on the water. Verado's proven supercharged power head delivers pure marine muscle for unequaled whole shot and superior top speed. Yet Verado 400 remains true to its roots, delivering the best overall boating experience with an advanced midsection that virtually eliminates vibration while acoustic engineering on the cowl intake and exhaust minimize sound. Test drive Mercury's 400 horse Verado today. Is your boat properly insured? When's the last time your agent called to discuss your policy? We're people's insurance underwriters, and boat insurance as you know it is about to change. We understand how the right insurance agent can make the difference in getting your claim paid or not. Our agents are lifelong boaters whose focus is on service, reliability, and savings. We can make a difference in your boat insurance. To learn more, go to thehappyboating.com. People's insurance underwriters. Insurance for boaters, by boaters. Need to get out on the water? Look no further than Sailfish Boats. For nearly four decades, Sailfish Boats have been catching their limit along Florida's southeast coast, providing families and friends the perfect platform to create lasting memories. With head-turning styling, sail tech construction, and incredible on-the-water performance, Sailfish Boats are sure to meet your demanding needs and wants. Each boat features the legendary Deep V Variable Degree Steep Tall, intelligent ergonomics throughout, and a list of standard features for those seeking a boating experience at an undeniable value. Plus, deep gunnels, comfortable seating, Roomy heads, plenty of storage, plus an abundant number of cup holders only steps away from another make Sailfish Boats a must-see. Fishing-focused and family-friendly, Sailfish Boats are versatile. Enjoy hardcore fishing in the morning, afternoon activities with family or friends, or entertain with the Sunset Cruise, all with one boat. So, if you're in the market for a new boat, check out the new 2022 model lineup of Sailfish Center Console, Dual Console, and Walk Around Boats, including the all-new 316 Dual Console. Visit SailfishBoats.com for more information and to find a Sailfish dealer near you. Catch more fish with Fishbrine, the world's most popular fishing app. Fishbrine provides the tools you need to fish better, helping you to make bigger and better catches. With over 14 million anglers from around the world, no other fishing app contains as much detailed data as Fishbrine. Find catches, make connections, learn different fishing techniques. Everywhere from your local pond to the middle of the ocean, it's the only fishing app with maps for every body of water, with specific layers for catches, waypoints and depth contours. So start catching more fish with Fishbrine. Join for free at fishbrine.com. Nobody protects you from mayhem like Allstate. All right, I'm we got a little bit of time. Last chance. A question for you regarding the toy chest. We're doing. Uh, we're gonna get the guest on the phone first before opening the toy chest, and then break out the items. Correct? Uh yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we'll get the um, your Palm Beach uh, guest on first. Yeah, okay. I'll be on hold with uh, Eric, and uh, we'll do our thing, dude. Sounds good. Open that bad boy. It's gonna be loaded. You got all the I'll slides, right? Yes, I do. Awesome, man. Cool. So it's going to be really neat, man. So I'm going to kayak, man. This is the weekend to buy one, bro. I ain't kidding you. Not. I actually may go up there. Buy, I need to yak for my uh, my place. My uh, Hobie got stolen two years ago. Oh. My tandem. Yeah. Which broke my heart big time. And, and my wallet. That was about a $4,000 loss, I might add. Yeah. So the price they got this weekend, man. I could buy a new yak, man, for like a third of that. Yeah, of course. I mean, damn, That'd be dude. great. I want my yak back. <laughs> yak and yak. one, man. If my back... Would work in the yak. I could go out and attack. Yak the yak. Get that yak back. Oh boy, my back ain't right for a yak, Joe. Oh, I'm trying I, to send Steve I can, I video. I could barely drive my damn truck. To the truth. The video yes. too long. Uh, no, it's 32 seconds. I don't know why this isn't sending to you. That's weird. This is unbelievable. Like, what the heck? What's the video of Joe? It's uh, last year when I took the kids out for our first fishing camp. Yeah. And uh, they they catch a monster peacock. Oh, it'll come through. Just give it. Oh, but if you get, some, you know, if you're probably, we got a cricket. I would just want to show it at the end. How cricket, cool! Cricket wireless is that you're using? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is weird. Huh? You use a high budget uh, technology? I, I guess so. I, I Metro just... POS maybe? Nuts, man. Yeah, okay. Thirty-two seconds. <laughs> You're catching all the fish because you're tuned into the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show, powered by Mercury Marine. Catch all the fish. Oh, oh. All the With your hosts, two legendary fishermen, Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. Oh, I certainly admire people who do things. Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln, an easy way to car. You're just the guy I want to see. Glad you're here. Drop the guys a line at 866-801-0940. One ringy dingy. And now, while you drink all the fish and catch all the beer. Come on, pull yourself together. It's back to Eric Brandon and Joe Hector on the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. 
Yeah, we're back with our last segment. It's gigantic July 4th blow-on time show at Palm Beach. North Palm Beach Store Auto Adventures has really got it going on, man, with all kinds of cool yes, stuff popping definitely. out of that chest. See, when that chest is so loaded, man, how does it hold all those things you're popping out of there, man? I have no idea. There it goes. Oh, here we go. Coming up with it, man. Look out! It's everywhere. You want a yak? You want some cool stuff? North Palm, West Palm, Nautical Ventures. Skyler's on the phone on line one. He works there. A good buddy of yours. You know him Yeah, well. my man Skyler. Skyler, if you're there on line one, brother, good morning to you. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? Hey, we're doing great. So this is a big July 4th weekend blowout sale. You guys have got some stuff stacked up at the North Palm Beach store. Talk about some of these specials and what can folks buy at this pricing this holiday weekend. All right, uh, you guys going to basically, we've got some of the items up. Uh, Skyler's phone is not working, but I got some things to talk about here. But I got some, I'm got always ready for the backup here. For example, Joe. Yes. Let's look at some of these kayaks. You got a Bonafide, right? The brand Bonafide? Yep. Very cool kayak. Sale price at $949, originated like almost $1,200. Wow, it's a great okay. price. All right. How about this affordable deal here, man? The Perception Pescador Pro 10, right? Normally like nine hundred bucks. Yeah. Now for six ninety nine. Wow. Come on, you can't beat that. This bad boy, the native stingray, right? Uh eleven point five single on sale for seven nineteen. If you guys have priced these online other places, you're not gonna beat these prices this weekend, yeah, man. These are great. Perception Pescador Pro twelve, that's the bigger model. Oh nice. Eight fifty nine, regularly like ten. Fifty nine. Penny's eating my fireworks, by the way, so here's some more carrots over oh, this way. Oh, boy. Okay. And you've also got the uh, native Stingray, uh, $9.99, and this is kind of a really neat deal, Joe. You've heard of the Sea the, uh, the Bob they've got? Yeah. The underwater toy, right? Mm -hmm. The Sea Bob is specially priced this weekend. Take 500 bucks off your price, okay? So, again, Good stuff. so much stuff going on. And one more I want to talk about. See, yeah. This photo, Joe, of this badass bike. Yes. It's called the... Manta, right? Right. This thing is just a super slick, man. Take about five grand off the price. Take it home. Because this thing is like super aerodynamic. What? Super technology. And this thing just goes like you would not believe. So, again, these things are priced this weekend to go. This is at the Palm Beach store, Palm correct? Palm Beach store. Nautical Ventures, yeah, guys. So, just Google the address. It's right there online. Very easy to find. And, again, the prices are this weekend only through... Uh, July 4th, Monday, right? Right. And uh, go out there and save yourself some big bucks. So, again, thanks to Skyler trying to, uh, to phone in. I yeah. His phone kind of blew it on him. So, yep. is he Can you guys hear me now? All right. Skyler, you're there, man. You're back. There we go. I'm back. All right. So, your phone's back. So, I just mentioned several <laughs> items again. But, again, you've got the, plenty of uh, items in stock, folks who stop by. You've got multiple uh, things to sell. We sure do. Yeah, our management team did a really good job of keeping us well stocked during all the shutdowns. But now we got a bunch of extra stuff we got to get rid of before the new year inventory comes in. Okay. Now, I normally always say at Nautical Ventures you can try before you buy. I'm not sure if there's a little place up that way to actually demo a kayak. Can you, can you guys do demos up that way? We do, yes. We have a great little rental kiosk uh, down by the Riviera Beach Marine Center where we can put people on the water and try out some kayaks. Very cool. So, yeah. pick out one of those jacks I mentioned. Uh, I did mention several Skylar, so a couple more brand names. Just bring them out just to refresh your memory of what brands are on sale this weekend. Yeah, we have the Native Kayaks. We have some Perception Kayaks. Um, you know, we got a lot of brands that weren't on the sheet that we uh, we have some inventory of. Okay. So when you come by, we'll take a look. You know, we want to get you in the best kayak that's the best fit for you. So if one of the ones we don't have on sale is the best fit, then we'll, we'll, we'll give you a good deal to make something happen to get so sure that you go home in the right kayak. And I will say this. I've been working with Skyler now this whole year with uh, Extreme. Yeah. And definitely go see him over there. He because knows his stuff. He, oh, he knows his stuff. Trust <laughs> me. So, uh, yeah, he's been a joy to work with. And he'll shoot you straight. Yeah. You know, and that's what you want in this business. You, you know, sure shoot do, yeah. me straight. So, uh, yeah, definitely make your way to the... Palm Beach Nautical Ventures store. Hey, Scott, before you go, give us the address of the store. I've been there two or three times back over the year or so, but uh, I forgot the actual street address, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, absolutely. We are 300 U.S. Highway 1. We are right at the intersection of North Lake and U.S. 1. Okay, perfect. <laughs>
Great. Uh, Even if you are in the market for a kayak, come on by. We'll have hot dogs and music today, tomorrow. Nice. Uh, so it'll be a good, nice uh, little little hangout atmosphere. <laughs> awesome. And Skyler will be at our kids' camp as one of the counselors. Beautiful. Because Nautical Ventures is one sure of our will. main sponsors of the camp. Nautical Ventures is involved in so many things. Yeah. Man, so, Skyler, thanks for being on the phone, man. I'm glad we got reconnected on this whole thing, man. Have a blowout sale. Hope it's successful for everybody. Yeah, man. Because you guys will win. The audience wins. And it's a win-win July Definitely. 4th weekend, baby. So yeah. thank you so much, Skyler. Thanks, thank Skyler. Thank you very much, gentlemen. All right, Joe, we got about two minutes of chat before we wrap the show up here. you got a kids' camp coming up, I think, uh, very soon, do you not? Yes, so we have a kids' camp coming up. This has been a dream of mine for a while now. Yeah. What really put it into gear was the Exotic Bass Roundup and how many kids we had there. Right. Uh, so we are doing a... Uh, it basically a kayak fishing. It's not just kayak fishing. It's also on shore. Okay. Uh, we're going to teach kids how to throw a cast net, how to catch bait, how to catch fish, peacocks, right. you know, the whole shabam. Right. Uh, so it's going to be five days. This is the uh, the first week. Actually, it's the 8th to the 12th okay. in August. All right. All right, which I believe is the second week, maybe. Right. And uh, it's go it goes on for five days, so Monday through fi Friday. Right. And then now I can't talk. <laughs> and hey, by the way, real quick, we've got some video of you uh, with the kids in action here, Joe. We want to share uh, oh, with the camp. It, here we go. Oh, roll, roll this. Roll that bad boy. Come on. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. How big is he? He's big. Keep that line tight. Get him. Big fish, big fish, big fish. Oh, oh. my God. Get him. Get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, the video him. should be up. Come on, come on, get him. Oh, my gosh. Get him in the neck, come on. Reel him. There we go, multitask, multitask. Oh, indeed. Yeah. Indeed. So this is some of the stuff we're going to be doing with the kids. That is neat. Joe, we got like uh, 35 seconds or so. Yeah. So how do folks get involved the kids uh, at Kids Camp? So they can go to ExtremeKayakFishing.com. Right. Uh, and on Tuesday, everything will be available. Okay. So uh, we're just waiting on one last little thing, and then we're ready to rock. Thank you, Joe, for a great show, man. Yeah, Happy hey, July thank you. And your family, Stephen J. Gray, thank you, crazy man. Thank you, man. Eric, back at 940, thanks for all you do, my brother. And uh, I'm going to close the show here with a spoke oh, bomb. Oh, ah! Get us all no. smoked out here. Stick around, folks, for some really smoking sports talk all day long. Don't the do one, what Eric does. Don't do it. Only. Share if you care. Uh. Fox Sports 940. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Happy 4th. Bye. Bye. I'm George Poveromo, and I've made washing and detailing my boat an art. I'll avoid dish soap, which quickly strips away...